Welcome to Wednesday. Welcome hey, to man. Zero Page Homebrew, where we play new games on classic consoles. And you should be watching at 60 frames a second, otherwise you're missing half of the show. Literally, That's every week, somebody messages me saying, Ah, oh, it looks all weird. What's and going on I'm, with it? Like, one of the characters is missing off the screen. And, and I'm like, oh, well, we broadcast at 60 frames a second because the Atari 2600 is a 60 frames per second machine and oh, it uses an audio sync issue is that us oh my god it is us there's always these things and this is a thing that hey mr fix i have to alter every show because there has not been a fix for it on the obs software yeah. so thank you audience man thank you is immediately let us know yes. that's a huge deal anything you can't hear us we're out of sync we suck well, <laughs> I think anything. If we start sucking, we'll just turn up the dial to to nine or ten, so the suckage is not as you know. That's right. Not we, as bad. We we, we got some <laughs> tricks up our sleeves. Um. So we're gonna be playing two games today. Halo twenty six hundred, right. which I don't know how we've gone this long without playing Halo twenty six hundred because it was one of the uh, most. It got it. It got one of the biggest attention. Of, yeah. of all homebrew because of the name associated with it and also who it was programmed by. We'll get into that. Halo is a huge game, man. I played Halo yeah. for the first time when I was 11. Oof, so Jesus. Halo... <laughs> well, get around, you got to understand Halo was released in 2001. First so, Xbox. First Xbox yeah. and then PC. So like that was a really early title. Big title. And yeah. for first-person shooters, that was huge. So I'm really like... Huge I, franchise. How is it now? Is it a big... It's now, it's still just... sort of waving off, yeah. but it had it had its run. Um, Halo Two was almost, was even bigger, okay. um, but there were just some things that they did in that game that I think were some firsts for oh. and for next gen gaming and changed everything. I'll t we can talk about it more yeah, when we get into we'll get it. Into but the I'm stoked to talk about it because I I was a huge Halo fan and I'm actually I'd say if I had to put on like a top. 10 games of really? all time. I would put Halo 1 near the... I wouldn't probably put it right at the top, but I would definitely put it in like a top 10, probably like a 9 or 8. Oh, because wow. it's, a, it's a big game, and I think it's... Uh, and it's because of the story as well. It's, right. It's not just because of the not combat. Not just a space shooter. No, I wouldn't <laughs> say like the later ones were like, eh. Uh, uh, but the first game was really, really, really seminal. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I'm excited. Some Halo oh, stuff. Excellent. I can talk about the original <laughs> stuff. Uh, we're also going to be playing Space Game. Uh, trying to get a high score. We got a theme today. Oh, man. both space. That's uh, not intentional. <laughs> Everything's better in I mean, space. That's I mean, my, if I could have a catchphrase on yeah. this show, that's it. Everything's better in space. <laughs> space. <laughs> I, I, I mean, space was a huge thing for the Atari Twenty Six Hundred and gaming in the eighties. Everything yeah. was in space. Even, you know, like Galaga, like bugs in space. You're shooting. Got everything's in space. Everything's better in space. <laughs> that's fine. Uh -huh. We're going to be playing it as part of the 2019 Homebrew Tournament round number three. I came in first on round one and two. Ooh. Can I do it again? Let's see, man. Ooh. Some pretty good scores up I, there by some, some regulars. I got a good question for you. Yeah. Do you feel as though doing the show on a regular basis, your skill level has increased? The, would yeah. you Have you noticed like your, your, your gaming skill is, is better now? I, I think so. Not a huge amount not like a huge jump but yeah. just playing it regularly um puts me in that mindset because you're of, two times a week uh, yeah yeah Which yeah is... two times a week so and it's, it's pretty much all the gaming i do sometimes yeah. i do some modern gaming on the ps4 upstairs but it's a very different oh, it's different types of games how, how often do you guys play? Like, what would you yeah, say is, like, per question. week would be amount of hours you put into a game? I mean, it's, I know for me that's a difficult question because, right. like, around Christmas or when I come back from Christmas, I'm always um, frustrated with my family and need some <laughs> downtime. And I'll clock, like, some, I'll shoot some baddies. I'll do, like, eight hours a day for, like, wow. four days, and then I won't do it for a while. So, you know, like, I'll do a big jump, or if I'm really working a lot, I might yeah. do, like, two or three hours at the end of the day, yeah. um, depending on how the day's gone. And then so, there's... So you'll do that for your downtime. Yeah. Like, that, that's your relaxing time. Totally. To, something to get away from. And it. then there's been weeks where I've, like, oh, if I have a big project going on, there's been months, like, I've, I've gone six months sometimes without playing, yeah. but that's always because I'm, I have something else that's, Slammed. like, pushing. Yeah. But I find around Christmas, my... After Christmas, like in the New Year, I always have a like a week of just a a, a, a big binge. Yeah, I mean, I count the show yeah. as gaming. So I 
I would say six hours, seven hours a week, which is not much. No. Um, but I have a lot of things going on right now, and I want to play more games. I've got Hell a yeah. backlog of literally hundreds of games that I want to play. Uh, receiving new homebrew, one to two hours each day. That's well, pretty that's, solid, wow, man. Wow, putting it in. So a little, that's part of his schedule, Splendid Nut. He's like, yeah. I play a game, you know, a little you, bit every day. How much is too much? That's a good question. I have no, I, I no answer for that. I'd be well, very interested when it's, in... When it's interfering with life. Correct. When you're putting other things off and you're playing the game instead, and you're like, I should be doing something else. And I think the, yeah. the, the homebrew community is almost in a different category because, you know, you're engaging with other people. You're yeah. working and designing games. You know, there's a... You're there's testing a, There's the a level of community that's so different, and I think that a lot of... But that's... It's not in isolation. No. Right? It's, it's part of something else, and you're giving feedback. Like, where else can you give feedback to developers? You can't do totally. it. Totally. Well, you can a little bit more now with um, a game companies kind of looking for feedback but it's more of like an on mass feedback it's like yeah. a wave of negativity for something they 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 put into the game they did an update and then there's all of a sudden a twitter storm yeah <laughs> to beating on them uh or you know feedback as in uh, you know scores metacritic scores or whatever uh places so it's it's this is more like direct one-on-one -on -one feedback Absolutely. on the community because it's a bit it's a lot smaller um, and then, and then if, and if for the programmers out there, it's, I think it's, you're not really playing your game if you're testing it or you're in that environment. That's a no, different, that's you're engaging in like a, a, a creative process, which is, I think, different than just like interacting with a result. And a lot of these games are like works in progress. So it's interesting. Yeah. It's, that's where it's not an, it's not an easy question to answer. No. And, um, and I, I don't think anyone should have any judgment about like any of those, it's, it's any all of those fun. things. And it's yeah. all fun. And I yeah. do think it depends on like where you're at in, in the year. Like I got, yeah, I got no, ups and downs. I mean, after Christmas and I need just time for myself and I need to just like kind of do my own thing for a while. Yeah. I got no issue clocking eight hours, but if I were like, yeah. you know, had a deadline and I was avoiding it because <laughs> clock in eight hours i have good. a moment where i'd be like erilyn what are you doing <laughs> yeah yeah and big games and big movies get released around christmas time so i think right. a lot of people put in time yeah. around that that area because you know they're not working as much There's, you're staying at home more you have holidays so i think people put in a lot more time during I, that time. I think there's a psychological factor too for sure where like you know my escape when i was a little kid and stuff wasn't great at home would be to play games so yeah. it's probably not a coincidence that like after i'm i'm feeling like upset about like how my family stuff's gone i go to the same place that i would have gone <laughs> yes. you know uh, not not to psychoanalyze me this is <laughs> freud had his off That's right. for the rest of the time but there i think there's something interesting about that too i i, I do i do think that like like gaming for me has always been like a, a bit of an escape from like oh i think stuff. it is for a lot of people yeah, yeah. but more so for for others it's like <laughs> yeah. literal escape like i need to escape yeah rather than like a, like a fantasy thing it's like oh i want to go to another world just for a bit to, to totally. get out of real life i had um i i, I was had a lot of sh like shame about that for a while mm. i took a cognitive science class at sfu and the guy was a dota guy he he also okay, dota is yeah. a very crazy game so and i talked to him about it afterwards i was like hey what's your perspective on this stuff and he said some of the studies on gamers is he said there's actually there's some negatives yeah. um but one of the big positives is failure he said gamers don't see failure as a bad oh, thing yeah. he said they find that gamers are more per have more perseverance because the idea of dying and failing and having to try again is it's, commonplace it's, and it's learning yeah in gaming it's like every time you die you learn not to do that or it's like oh i, I need to figure out a different way to approach this problem absolutely and it's and it's very constructive actually and it and really expands your mind it's like Oh, maybe I can try this, and then then I'll I'll make it. Yeah. And there's and I mean and it's interesting. There's a huge history of like people who are very intelligent playing games. You know, yeah. like chess used to be connected with intelligence. Right, and yes. I don't. I think about like some games that people play, and there's different categories for sure. If you're just yeah. fucking around in Skyrim for like, well, yeah. stone. That's very different <laughs> than like walking on the grass you know, in Skyrim. Look at look, look at this a mountain. Look whoa. at this ebony sword I found, man. Like, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's, that's a little a, different, a, you know, versus, um, you know, someone who's like a, a you know, an intense speed runner pushing for, yeah, you know, those are the two spectrums. Really intense. Yeah. 
So I want to thank everybody for showing up today. Splendid Nut, Thrust 26. Ground Trooper. Carl G. Dan AVC. Ice Posta. Ice Posta. Mr. Fix. DJ Mips. Hope I'm saying that right. Makes sense. DJ Mips. Uh, and that's everybody who has typed something. And I want to thank these Twitch subscribers as well. They are increasing. I think the Galaga did some good. <laughs> I think so too, man. That's uh, I'm still like recovering from that. That was so yeah, epic. It's pretty, pretty good. That was like I don't normally um uh watch the show afterwards, but I wanted to you sent <laughs> it to still... me actually. You sent me the reaction the shot of, of you <sighs> reacting. I had yeah. to, I went back and replay it. I rewatched that moment because I wanted to see it through My through... mind being blown well, yeah. live on camera. It was a truly dramatic moment. It, it was. was it was a culmination of something. That makes things. the best of real. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure, man. Um, I want to thank the Twitch subscribers, Charles and Check, Gretem's Ground Trooper, I Sposta, Johnny's WC23, Mr. Fix, Nathan Strum, RC70, Retro Happy Hour, Scorpion Illuminati, Sir Catlegs, Spiceware, S Ramirez2008, and Tiki Dan K. And you can support the show as well for free if you have uh, Amazon Prime and just link it to your Twitch Prime and click subscribe, and you are done. And uh, we kind of had a poll question. How, yeah. ma how many hours a day or yeah. how many days a week do you play uh, video games? Yeah, um, and something I would... I, I This is... It's it's too bad... That, I'll make that into an official poll in another show. Yeah. That's a really good idea. It's too bad that I can't like talk to some of you about this. This is something that's been on my mind mm -hmm. a lot. I'm so interested in this idea of what was gaming like, the perspective of gamers like in the 80s versus now because i feel it's like frowned upon yeah and same with it was like geeks that sit in their basement by themselves because they have no friends yeah um or uh conversely people who played in the arcades they were drug dealers yeah they were ne'er-do-wells <laughs> <laughs> um because they were always uh, uh arcades were associated with gambling and 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 drugs and violence because they were you know dark and yeah and craziness and the parents didn't understand what this was and they're staring at screens and tvs already had this kind of bad image to them so this is even even worse because they're staring at one thing all day long yeah. this one thing so i forget how we got on this oh what was the perception yeah. of, of gaming yeah it it wasn't it wasn't great it was also a, a fad especially in the early 80s yeah. or late 70s so it wasn't taken seriously. It was like a, an addiction, really. It, yeah. it, it was seen as an addiction. And because and then it came back again, uh, you know, in the past five or ten years, seeing, seeing, being seen as an addiction as well because they're making the games to be really actually addictive, like setting these, oh, these little yeah, goals man. along. And it's like, no, if you don't play X hours a day, you're going to miss this this special item or Remember, you have to play every day to get this item because there's a new one every day. Yeah. Remember listening to Sid Meier's who did Civilization? Yeah. He talked about how he wanted people to play his game forever. That was when he was <laughs> designing a game that could be played and forever. His, his literally can. Like his, his Sim Cities. That's is that he did Sim Cities. Uh, no. no, he did Civilization. Civilizations, but I mean Tanya play still plays Civilization. Yeah. I mean the newest one. Like, but it's an lot. amazing education. That's the other thing that's crazy is I think about like those Age of Empires games and Civilization in particular. Yeah. I mean you really. But I so the 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 thing so I bring that up because I. I, I don't want to overlook the fact that maybe asking people how much they play, there yeah. might still be some shame related to that I'm almost, sure or some feeling of like, because I just, I, I know from my generation, there isn't the same level of, yeah. I, there was definitely this, the, this perspective of like, oh, you're a nerd, yeah. but... Not but anymore. It, that's definitely gone. Everybody plays video games. Yeah, now. I guess so. Like, even on their phone. That's a, that's a video game. That's, that's a great That's point. gaming. Um, How do you feel now that like the the whole ethos has shifted? Do you still feel? Do you feel excited that it's been connected? Is there a part of you that's like, man, I, I you know, like I uh, don't care other, pe <laughs> other people's perception. I mean, I'm I'm glad as a whole that it's come around to to being more accepted. Yeah, um, possibly more positive, mm -hmm. but it's still got negativity as seeing that you are avoiding life. You are neglecting friends and family. Yeah, it, it's it's portrayed a little bit in that. You're caught light. up in a fantasy world and yeah. not living in reality. All yeah. this stuff. So it's it's still got. It's always going to have negativity, and it's going to be even worse if the virtual reality 
increases as people like get really into it like they can't even see anyone anymore they're really inside of the world of, of gaming because um, that's 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 an area i wish that i could just like put a camera on all the people who are in our audience and ask them how they feel about like the perception in the 80s going up until now and how their relationship to has changed and because yeah. i imagine there's also a frustration of like Oh man, like the world caught up and I was, you know, I, yeah. but I don't know. Is that just me like fantasizing about a dramatic I, I don't think the gamers have changed. I think the world has changed yeah. to be more accepting of the gamers. I guess technology is just more... 80s yeah. was a crazy time though, man. It seems like... It, it... was new. Every, it was new and un, uh, unexplored and people didn't know what to make of it. But there was that case about this kid... Who apparently like they he played Dungeons and Dragons and it was like they thought that he was that I mean which had nothing to do with anything. Uh, yeah, that was more the religious uh, side of things. Yeah. People thinking that it's uh, demonic and stuff. Exactly. But, and and I I could see it from their twisted perspective of these people just being totally focused on this this one thing. They're yeah. like in a trance and they can't break out of it and they they keep coming back to it and. It, this evil addictive thing. Yeah, yeah, it's it sounds like people who've never played Dungeons and Dragons uh, having that perspective. Yeah, but... yeah, and yeah, they're pretending to be you know wizards. And stuff. Yeah, and in the religious world, magic is real, so yeah, they think that's... that's actually real. That's that's wild. what that's the thing that made me understand why they're so they were so afraid of it because they actually think that's real to people who are not religious oh yeah they're like you're we're, rolling we're dice like, man it's a dice game and it's your you're they're making stories up they're storytelling yeah this is amazing it's, it's basically what you're hanging out with your friends doing doing improv with rules yeah yeah it's exactly. highly creative yeah so it's it's it was weird yeah. but what you once you just like it with anything once you understand and have uh you empathize with the person who has the concern, you're like, oh, I understand why. You're still crazy, but, I just, <laughs> but at least I it's understand true. your motivation f for being fearful yeah. or lashing out at this thing. And I just love to know that people's relationship to playing games, how that's changed over the years. Because I imagine, like, I feel like our audience is people who've maybe played games for yes. quite a few years, and yeah. how that's changed. Because I haven't. The demographics of our audience is. A little older than, yeah. than the normal Twitch streamer. <laughs> totally, which is I think <laughs> like uh, like twenty five years if, older. I don't know. Like, I'm I'm not. I, please don't feel. But if anyone wanted to write about that, or I would just be so interested in that yeah. topic. Uh, that's, that's something that fascinates me. Um, which I, I think I could learn so much from you guys. Anyways, we'll yeah. get back to the... <laughs> <laughs> we could talk about that during the game. Yeah. Yeah. On average, I think our intros are forty five minutes long. Oh, it's shit. too much. Um, uh, so I got some, uh, news from Atari age the other day. They just announced in their newsletter yesterday, um, a list of upcoming releases on cartridge, which is always exciting because they do it about twice a year right now. He wants to do more. Al wants to do like three or four times, like break them up. So it's not like, Oh, my wallet. My wallet. <laughs> um, so some 2,600 titles coming up on, uh, into their store soon. Aardvark, ding, insta yeah. buy. Amoeba Jump, insta buy. Fuck yeah, man. Amoeba Jump is, Oof, is, is in, in my top 10 yeah. homebrews for sure. Uh, Evil Magician Returns 2, which I don't know anything about. I need to look into that. Jivolver, uh, which is uh, a fun little game made by Random Terrain. Um, Panic Rooms, which I haven't played yet, but uh, it is on the list. We will have an exclusive uh release of that for uh upcoming uh tire tracks which is a super fun incredibly uh oh that's a very game. cool one man yep uh and a huge one wizard of war arcade massive massive one um there's no date yet for um when these are going to be released but i'm gonna guess a summer summer release june july not sure no 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 <laughs> we got cats always, yeah we got always, cats always. Um, so I'm looking forward to all of these. So which ones are you guys looking forward to? That's I mean, they're all question. a really good list. And thank you, T T T 
Teat Foes? Teat Foes? I'm going to say Teat Foes. Yeah. Uh, for subscribing with Twitch Prime. Thank you very much. Oh, their second month in a row. I noticed Thanks, their man. name the other day. They don't talk much, but I remember them chatting a couple episodes ago. That's so. okay. That's how i totally be, man. Yeah, I would be like, totally. I probably silent. wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, but I would like, I'd be so interested in what's going on. And yeah. That's, that's totally fine. And it, uh, Splendid Nuts said, had a cool answer that he said, I've moved from more complex PC games back to classic arcades. And it depends how much time of, in the day you have. Like, yeah. do you have only half an hour a day? It's easier to just jump on a more arcadey game. That's not like uh, storylines oh, and yeah. stuff or like that. Or some infinite like end game <laughs> crap that yeah. just goes on forever. That you have to keep like in your fresh in your mind. Oh, I have to do this, then this in the game. Um, like the RPGs are a little bit more involved, so you have yeah. to kind of keep it be in the mindset of the game. So for those big big games, I usually have to know that I have time to set aside. Yeah. Um, and the only modern games I play are Zachtronics puzzle programming games. That's very specific. <laughs> makes sense though man yeah. when you find your when you find your thing you find your thing yeah that's that's and there's no shame of that oh and tifo says i'm scrummy on atari age oh awesome it's oh. true when effects became more important than gameplay i'd say that's yeah. one of the huge things that suffer now gameplay is number one always for me i don't care what it looks like obviously we play games with blocks oh. that are astounding like just squares oh, bouncing around the screen and they just have amazing controls and gameplay and that's all that and matters. so inventive in like the ideas yeah. that's the thing is i'd say most gameplay is very um uh iter what is it not not what's yeah. the word where it's you copy something else iterative yeah, yeah. it's like an iteration it just yeah it just keeps it's a derivative same. that's the word i was yeah looking for. derivative it's, it's the same it, there it's kind of like um yeah first person shooter find yeah. something i mean they've refined then... that to an art like where can it go it's all about story at that point you can't They've got first-person shooters locked down. Yeah, and you become angry. But gamers become angry if it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, you know, I think if it's not engaging or it has doesn't have a good storyline or good plot, because that's all that's left. Like the yeah, same, aiming and shooting, but different. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the... <laughs> and uh, the twelve-hour fundraiser is in a month and a bit. Now, oh shit! I'm so stoked on that. Up. Oh yeah, that's gonna be fun. And I want to thank all the uh, donated items that people are are. People keeping are on putting in stuff yeah so we can auction it off and raise money what for are some Stella. of the things is we got uh, a whole bunch from daryl spice jr Darryl, um, these are man. all signed uh draconian complete in box medieval mayhem uh complete in box uh a rare clear shell cartridge version of it which wow. i'd probably be bidding on myself <laughs> um, james it's so it's yeah. very this is how but honest money this goes man is he could have yeah. this no he could i'm just... not gonna say i'm not going to um a space rocks complete in box with the fridge magnet signed space rocks poster like a big poster wow. signed uh stay frosty 2 complete in box a limited uh edition version number 51 signed stella's stocking cart number 153 signed uh, those are everything from Daryl Spice Jr. We're going to have Galaga Complete in Box signed Jesus. by John Champo. It's not going to be out yet, but he's he's going to say, yeah, I'm going to set aside one for, for the auction. So you'll be one of the first people to get it because it'll just and go signed. right out the door and signed. Like that, You'll probably that's, have the only one that's signed. That's epic, man. Yeah. That's, that's pretty good. And uh, as of last show, after the show, because um, Nathan Strum challenged me to beat his high score in Galaga, because he was... <laughs> Makes no sense for me to donate to myself. <laughs> Not if it's your item. It's a good but if point. it's somebody else's item that you don't have you can donate that makes sense it's like it's um, like in the <laughs> office when they had their like you know you get the the poll for christmas gifts and the one character just like took his own gift yeah it's such a good gift <laughs> he's so happy to have it it's so funny um so nathan strum challenged me to a high score um high score playoff because he had a really good high score because he was the only beta tester for galaga uh, he had an incredible high score, and he said, if you beat it, I will donate a Retron 77 loaded with homebrew. Holy his, shit. His homebrew and everybody else's homebrew. Stakes are high, man. And I didn't beat it. I did my best. His was like 311,000. Oh. And I got to 99,000 or something, and that was not too bad. And he went... I, I was just joking. I was going to give it anyway. Yeah. Man, 99,000 is pretty good. <laughs> I, I was happy with that. I think uh, what, what was the best I could do was like 20 something yeah i think yeah. yeah i mean i was playing the updated version where you uh had 
like he fixed a bunch of stuff. Oh, so yeah. it was a lot. But easier, um, but... Uh, how f- how far did you get? Did you get to like some challenges? Like how? Yeah, uh, level fourteen. Wow. So I got to this. I didn't make it to the third challenge. I maybe I did. It's amazing. It that game hard. is ninety nine levels. He says it's astounding. Yeah. Um, and we have some more uh, pending items from John Champo from Champ Games, and also some from Albert Yuruso from Atari Age. So there's more coming. Yeah. If anybody else out there wants to donate items, 100% of the proceeds will be going to support Stella, which all of you I know have used or do use, especially the developers. And we use it all the time for testing out games, making sure that That's work. That's super exciting on all levels. Oh, it is. Yeah, it's it's really good. And, you know, it's it's used on the Retron 77 um, f- as as the emulator. Um, it's used in a lot of things. Um, so, and we're going to be doing challenges. I mean, it's 12 hours long. Yeah. We're going to be doing uh, high score challenges. Uh, we're going to try and finish a bunch of games that we never got to because we only have so much time on the show. Um, and, uh, yeah, and some just fun challenges as well. And you guys can um, donate and, and uh, challenge us. It's like, here's $10 to do this or whatever yeah. like that. Um, we're going to try and finish uh, Night Guy in Low Res World, Spies yeah. in the Night 2, KO Boxing, AVGN KO Boxing, Lost Cat, Hunchy 2, Isaiah's We A Chase. I'm going to try and get back a bunch of world records that people have stolen from me for Atari Homebrew. I'm going to try and get our patches for Astronomer. And we're trying to get a high score on Amoeba Jump, too. Oh, damn. Beat uh, Dianoid's high score of 21,000. I think we'll be able to I do I think it. we'll be able to. Man, uh, I wonder... Did I... I wonder what mine was. I think I got almost higher than that at the one that we were hanging out at uh, for your video game night. Oh, video night. game night. I you don't, did pretty good. I don't know what I did, um, but I remember I did very well. I remember you had a high score that I beat, which was like, I don't remember what your high score was. I don't remember. But I think I, I, have, I might have a shot at being able to get close to that. Yeah. I don't know, though. I don't remember what that was. I might have been, I might be delusional. But that's <laughs> the only one out of that that I think I'd have a go at. I'll, that'll be my goal. I'll see if I can, if I can yeah. do it. Oh, I'm curious if there any interest in I Saved Earth Space Game Patch. Well, I mean... Well, yeah. he's collecting them all, uh, man. I'm going so for the homebrew sure. patches, so you've got one person. So, yeah, it's good to put it... Maybe post that... Did you post that in your thread in the Atari Age forums? I don't remember seeing that, but if you haven't, definitely do that. So, yeah, put it out to the crowd there. Anybody interested in more patches for homebrew games, for challenges, and specifically... For Space Game, which we'll be playing a little bit later. Cool. I Saved Earth. I mean, that sounds like a great patch yeah. for a Space Game. Definitely. You haven't yet. Well, and definitely everything's post better it. in space. So everything's in. better in space. <laughs> so we're gonna, I'm in. So we're going to jump into Halo 2600. Cool. So let's get that uh, fired up. And I did some tweaks to the look of how the Atari 2600 gets over to our system, our stream here. So it might look a little bit better than normal. Oh, cool. I hope. Always uh, refining, man. Not. That's good. Yeah, so I'm hoping, because I, I was like, I think I can make this look better. So I don't know uh, if it's going to be perceptible to everyone out there, but we'll see. Oh, cool. Tried to get it cleaner. Yeah, I think it's a lot cleaner. Yeah, it's very, very clean. I had the brightness up just a little bit, which was making a lot of the blacks just a little gray. Yeah, and yeah. And I was like, what the hell? Why did I set this? Blacks but are the most important when it comes to, to comes to anything coming out. I... And especially uh, video games because yeah. and Atari games in, in general because you want the blacks really clean. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's times where you don't, but they're rare. You know, like reflections or foggy days or looking through windows. <laughs> yes. That, that's the, but those are like effects. Like you should. Yeah, always that's have on them purpose. Be, like you should that. always have have them be solid. So this was so put that out. Space looks like a void. <laughs> so this was put out in 2010. Now the big thing about this, this is a 4K game. This mm-hmm. is really small and it's pretty amazing. It has a title screen and is very involved for 4K because that's one of the smallest normal size of a game that people make so i'm guessing this graphic is part of halo it's a big this, deal this this, this yeah this circular, is... circular thing is that where they 
live and oh, fight okay. on. Like, hey man, the plot of dude, the plot of Halo, Halo is so good. <laughs> Essentially, you uh, blast into this ring yeah. that you that's been abandoned. It's neat because it's based off of this these Larry Niven novels called Ring World. Oh, I've heard of those. Yeah. And um, like loosely, but the idea is is there's it's it's not an old concept. It's two thousand one. Is this the same artificial thing. gravity and it's spinning exactly? And everybody lives in the curve. Well, this it? is the neat part about it is that. It is, there's this, these things called the Forerunners, which are these ancient, um, like, uh, world. <laughs> yeah, man, these ancient beings that basically built these things that nobody oh. knows what they're for. So you oh. kind of land on this thing. So it's a very cool, like, setup because, I mean, that's not new, but no. it is a great, it's a really it's great re classic sci-fi concept. Yeah. Um, so then you're just trying to figure out what this ring is all about. And you're being attacked by these aliens and it's cool. Yeah. So this is programmed by Ed Freeze, who has done two games. This one, which was released, and Rally X, which we did play on the show as well. And he was... Let me just get this up here. Um, he's not a normal, average, everyday dude. Okay? Yeah. Uh, he is... Um, I want to make sure I get this right. Ed Freeze was the former vice president of game publishing at Microsoft. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> and was involved in the Microsoft's acquisi acquisition of Halo. Well, Halo was Microsoft, so that's amazing. So, vice president of gaming at, at, at Microsoft made this game. And I would be like, you have time? That's wild, To make an Atari man. 2600 game <laughs> while being vice president? That's crazy. I don't know if this is the case in everything, but... Oh, there's a lot of I've heard like the kind of like water cooler talk is VPs tend to be the people who run things. Yeah, depends on the structure, but there's a lot of um, institutions where the president is more of a spokesperson and the VP is really. Uh, so I don't know if that's the case with Microsoft, but being a depends. VP can mean that you're the guy. Yeah, it can also very... mean that you're second fiddle to the other person. But. Yeah. Um. So I'm gonna get a lot of information from this wonderful book. The Atari 2600 Homebrew Companion, Volume 1. Dude, Shy Guy by wrote Brian something Ma I don't Mathers. understand. He said, red oranges sometimes cry because they lost control of the mechanical crow. It makes perfect sense. This is... This is I mean, go with it. This, I mean, those red oranges. They, they are very sad. Man, sometimes I, I you buy <laughs> oranges and they, they got, they're they got more red <laughs> than, than orange. He's Shy Guy, 16 Makes Sky is, is in a world to, unto themselves. Yeah. <laughs> And I can't tell you how many times Mechanical Crows have messed up my day. <laughs> oh my god, Shy they guy. come in, like, I try to avoid them, but sometimes <laughs> they're just there waiting for you at your front door. And you just gotta kind of, like, shove them out of the way, you know? <laughs> okay, let's, let's, let's jump into it. Okay, I'm not cool. sure what that signature, I'm sure it's like Ed Fry's name or something. I don't know, it looks might like be... like an FF, or it looks like a little a, creature a there. symbol in Halo, I don't recognize it myself. Yeah. Okay, so, let's do let's this. Do so, Dude, Mas man. Master Chief, I know that much. Is that Master That's Chief? That's Master Chief. Okay. Um, he's a Spartan from the Spartan 2 projects, James. Oh, okay. Okay. You know? <laughs> um, and it's actually the mythology is he's a mechanical suit that's super powered so that's okay. how he's able to he's he, iron man he doesn't yeah he, he he's also like uh the, basically like a space weapon but like the idea is is the suit is a huge part of what makes him him oh, okay so uh, these are obviously forest areas i can't really do anything yet i will give you a hint go up first go up first okay. yeah because you need that <laughs> yeah, that's important Oh, the first weapon you get in Halo is a pistol, so ah, that, that works. So I'm sure it's going to have a lot of things. So I'm going to read so out the story this. here. I'll turn that up just a Okay, bit. cool. Uh, the year is 2552. Planet Earth still exists, but overpopulation has forced many of her former residences to colonize other worlds. After contact with an outer colony was lost... A battle group was sent to investigate when it was almost completely destroyed. Wow. Only one badly damaged ship returned to tell of a seemingly unstoppable alien warship that has effortlessly annihilated their forces. This is humankind's first encounter with a group of aliens. Oh, shit, man. I got hit for the first time. Oh, and there was a shield there to get. Yeah. Uh, it's they you eventually... can only shoot sideways, man. That's a bit really? rough. Yeah. Not up or down? No. no. Oh, well. 
it's okay. Um, they can shoot up or down though. Well, That's why I tried to do it. You know. See, look, I can't, I can't, and then it's like it's just one oh, line. Just up or not even diagonal? No. Just straight it's across. Just left or right. Well, it's good to know that. Yeah, because I, yeah. I went in and I was like, surely if they can do it, so can I. Look. <laughs> so you have to get up to their level. Yeah, I got like, like essentially every time. But their bullets are pretty slow. Yeah, so it's, so it's, if you're it's pretty decent. far enough so away. So I guess you get the shield. Yeah. Go into this area. There's a tougher alias that looks a lot like. Um... <laughs> <laughs> what, is that like one of the? I wouldn't touch that. It look, it looks a lot like um uh like like Ridley Scott's alien. Yeah, it does. Than, uh, Xenomorphs. Well, yeah, because it's the Covenant is the mythology of these guys. Oh, okay. So I guess a, a key that seems about right. Yep. A desperate plan is set in motion. Board a Covenant vessel and learn the location of the Covenant homeworld. But before the mission begins, Covenant forces strike and annihilate Ooh. annihilate the attack force. And Mister Fix had a cat on the keyboard. Yeah, man. It out. I don't know. That looks like English at first. It out up. Actually, that looks like no. That's a keyboard. That's an interesting. What? It out up up. Oh oh, you pop uh, is Dude, up. Oh oh, I you, think the, you. I think the mechanical crows got to Mister Fix. So. That's a good explanation, actually. Those mechanical crows. <laughs> they, they they fuck with you, man. Okay, is this killable? Are those okay. things from Hold the game? Hold on, did I change color? No, I didn't. It's just, uh, the, it's just the contrast of the back. Your face did. No, I did, yeah. Your yellow did. and then purple. I wonder um, why. That's interesting. Um, your face is definitely made from the ball object. Yes, I feel because like... there's two colors on the same line. I feel like going into this is maybe a mistake. I, yeah, I, no, it's, this is it's rough, part man. Of the part of the it's hard because I don't want to get too close. Because like, well, the, Yeah, stay far away. I would go around and then... Yeah, Xenomorph. See, it looks so away. much like a Xenomorph to me. It does. Whoa. You can reset by going off the screen. Oh, oh shit. Oh, your shield. That's okay. I mean, that's not okay. That's no, sucks. it's not. The Covenant are now on dirt Earth's doorstep. That's So this is somewhere between the first and second game. Then. Oh. One ship escapes and makes a blind jump into deep space, hoping Whoa. to lead the Covenant away from Earth. The ship crashes on Halo. Oh, so this is the first one. Cool. Uh, an artificial ring world that is actually a weapon. It's capable of destroying light, all life in the galaxy. Hey. Should it fall into the hands of the Covenant. Not just the solar system, but the galaxy. That's a pretty powerful well, weapon. Well, yeah, and there's, a, there's actually a really good reason why. Mm. Which I don't know if they're going to reveal. It's the whole plot of Halo, basically. This is probably it. Probably takes you to a compressed through a compressed story it of does. Halo in this. It does, man. Um, cause yeah, the the reason why it is, uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, you are Master Chief. Whoa, whoa! Just go off the screen. I don't think you need to kill everyone. No, I don't. You might get your shield back, but you're right. I mean, it just feels like you need to. Well, I mean, I can do it, and if I die, I will do that. But it just seems like you know. I'm not. Oh, I got two directions to go. go. Oh god. Okay, maybe I will. At least there's a safe spot here. Can I touch these things? No. Oh. I just didn't know. I didn't. Oh, oh god. That's a lot. Whoa. That's fast, faster. Fast. Uh, all Whoa. Their... Okay, so. Oh, their shield. Shit, man. Okay. I'll let you go once more, and then I'll play. What do you do when your clocks are rotting? Just drink a glass of dead water. Or just bury under the lime tree. See, I don't think that there's, there's not live much. water or dead water. I think there's just water. I but, mean, if there's things in it that are alive, does that make the water alive? Uh, but then, but I mean, then water the, is not the, a living being. It's no, not. A, it's, it's not an organism. It changes forms. Um, interesting. Uh, you are human humanity's last. Oh. All that remains of a classified military project to build a series of genetically enhanced super soldiers. So he's not no. directly human. He, he is he he's is, the last of his Spartan 2 project. Okay. That's what he is. You are humanity's last and best hope yeah. against the Covenant. One man. It's a whole army. Of Pretty much. People. You have some in the in the uh, game. You have like military people that help you out. Okay. But like um, they're Most pretty useless. <laughs> okay. Captain America? Yeah, for sure. Very Captain America, yeah. except the he has super a, soldier. It, yeah. Basically, Captain America meets Iron Man because right. you have a super soldier who's inside with a body of armor. With a body of armor, because Captain space. America had um, a special weapon. That's right. 
Like, and his special weapon is his armor, and, like, um, it gets a bit stupid. Like, in the later <laughs> games, right. he can, like, jump from space and land, like, on a thing. But in space. Yes, man! <laughs> Everything's better in space, Carl G. Uh, but, like, he can land on, like, a planet from jumping from, like, the... So that's a bit... It gets a bit silly. Wow. Because it's like, well, then how Superhero can he... Superhero level. Well, it's like, but then if he can survive landing on his feet from space, why can't he get hit by a bullet, you know? Yeah. It, that's the problem with some of this stuff. That's why I think, like, the first few games. I mean, games do have a tendency to jump. Dark. You don't have. There's your shield. The shield's a huge deal, man. Oh yeah, get, it lets you get hit once without dying. Yeah. Uh, can you battle your way through the massive world that is Halo? Defeat the Covenant and save humanity. Reset. You can reset. Well, I, I don't think this. Cheese I, the game. Oh, dude, it's oh, right here. It comes back. Oh, that's amazing. That's okay, that's I'm good. just gonna like run for it. I'm just and gonna... back again. I don't think you can double up on shield. I mean, this is the the reality of. Gonna cheese it. <laughs> a little bit, because I just also want to be able to like, um, you know, I will. Oh. oh, reset. There you go. Ah, oh, you went into it. Uh, Halo Twenty Six Hundred is a twenty ten release programmed by Ed Fries, not Ed Fries. Well, as people you're right. And I think I said Ed Fries at first. So, just... what do you think? Should I push through all these crazy people? Or... I would go the other way first because that is daunting. I think you need a better weapon to to defeat. Yeah, three, you're three, absolutely three right. Three rows of three. It's probably uh, so. There's a there's a there's a, like there's a, a way around. Holy oh my God. shit, man! I would get that shield. Well, I already have a shield. Nope. No, you I got don't. hit. You got oh, hit. Fuck. Uh oh, oh man. Mm. The current silver label and manual layout were done Do by Nathan shield? Strum, the uh, master at graphics. Whoa, look how fast these work. bullets are. Man. Yeah, you got it now. Oh, you got that. They're terrible at dodging. I should probably go get a shield. It's going to maybe reset that room? It will. Oh, no. No? Killed is killed. Whoa. Uh, Holy shit. Good job. Oh, they're pretty slow, so... There go. Okay, and then fuck this guy. I'm out. Yeah. I know. You could kill him. Oh, that's awesome. So if you kill all the people in the room, it remembers. Okay, that's... At least for a bit. At least maybe for if, a bit. That's really good. Maybe sign. if you die. That's... Oh, you went right into that one. Yeah, it's hard though, man. It's yeah. a lot of... I think he's going to hit me. Like, it's pretty hard. Oh, one guy. Good job. I felt like... Oh, shield back. Okay, we're good. We're good. Halo is available in NTSC, PAL 15, PAL 16. Whoa. Ooh, that's a dude. He it's looks like, a like human, he's... it felt like. Oh, oh, caught it in the head. What's up here? Whoa. Ooh. Some homes? Um, Shoot that's them. a bit of a bug. Oh, oh it's no, ice. it's not. It's ice. Slippy, slippy. Should I. The see? first batch of 150 box cartridges had a black label. Signed by Mike Mika. Released at the Whoa. 2010 Classic Gaming Expo for $50 each. I don't know much, but I know that a key is something to collect. Oh, yeah. Whoa. 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 <laughs> Slippy. You can only... You can't stop, I guess. Oh, yeah. You, oh, when you come I on the screen, see, you stop. I don't see the motivation no. to kill anything. I would go dead. Whoa. Oh, I was oh, just trying to, was trying to no. escape, man. Oh, put you back at a safe spot. And That's it gave good. me a shield, which is a good sign. Okay, oh, so good. this guy, I think, gives a shield. Oh, my God. Just wailing on me, God, man. Dude. Holy shit. Okay, so. That's where you want to start again, is scoring. Okay. Kick so, some ass. So no scoring involved in this game. Once you defeat the boss, you'll be able to play through the game again in legendary mode, which increases the difficulty level. Yay. <laughs> Get to play again. <laughs> oh, move the joystick, control Master Chief, press the fire button to use your weapon. You can only fire left or right, and will always fire in the direction Master Chief is facing. Game reset. Switch um, uh, aborts the game and restarts the game. No other switches are used in it. Um, so we've got design. Do you want me to read the design? Yeah, um, yeah, good background, because this is quite a involved game yeah, of what happened. Yeah, this is huge, man. Okay, so Halo 2600 is an original homebrew game created by Ed Fries. Freeze. Freeze. Sorry, Ed. <laughs> I apologize to the former VP of oh, shit. I uh, just, gaming at Microsoft. I just, I just <laughs> lost a <laughs> <the> job. <laughs> yeah, you'll never work for him. Ed Freeze. <laughs> no movie adaptions Ed, of games. That's right. You uh, won't be doing Halo 4, the sequel. No. <laughs> Ah, um, uh, 
bringing, uh, uh, he was the VP game publishing for Microsoft Xbox division and was instrumental in bringing Bungie Studios into the Microsoft company. The homebrew game is considered a demake from the original Microsoft game release. That's interesting, I never heard that term, demake. Yeah, it's uh, very commonly heard for Atari 2600 because, you know, the graphics uh, obviously do not live up to So Xbox it's not a remake, Plus. it's a demake. Yeah, so they take the same game scale down the gameplay scale down the graphics kind of have the same feel as it but obviously it's not gonna be the same <laughs> or sound the same now a little thing i've noticed is that these guys come to your level so if you stay on the same level as you shoot yeah they'll stay there what happens if you get nothing i think i think i you already have a shield yeah double shield no it doesn't Man, very cool yeah See? <laughs> yeah, oh <laughs> They no. don't try and dodge it. They just stay on your level. Ah, 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 oh, ah, and he just literally ah, describes ah, it later. Ah, this is the hardest one. Down. This is a hard level, dude. This one? No, the next one, because it shoots really fast. Oh, yeah, Because yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. you've been kind of getting used to a certain level of shooting. Slow, slow, slow. Is... Um, and so Atari Age worked with Ed, uh, Ed Freeze to produce Halo 2600 in physical cartridge form. Mm. Um, in the game, Halo players control Master Chief in a non-scrolling exploration game with rooms to explore and a variety of enemies to shoot. The Chief faces a variety of enemies across 64 play fields uh. and must find hidden keys yep. to unlock the game's force fields in order to reach the final boss encounter. But first... He needs weapons. <laughs> Master Chief needs to uh, first proceed upward to locate a pistol. The player will have to locate the keys. Pick up every shield you can. They yeah. are a must. Yeah. Uh, you Definitely. do not have to kill every warrior or even any of them in each room since the enemies can shoot in all directions and their bullets oh, travel through back. objects. You'll soon learn that running is often the best option. I think we already figured that out, for sure. How can you not run? In certain areas, pushing <laughs> against the border at the edge of the two connected screens while, tr while tapping the joystick diagonally will warp you to different screens. Oh, and even to the end. Like oh, right. To, yeah, that's a bug. <laughs> Free, uh, 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 Freeze calls this bug Magic Land and intentionally <laughs> left it in the game. I was working yeah, on a shield. bug with the boss encounter and I accidentally found myself completely outside the 64 room map. I was wandering through memory <laughs> that was never intended to be interpreted as part of the game. Oh, we'll the code that. was doing the best it could to interpret <laughs> what was being thrown at it. Strange mishap and monsters attacked me in even stranger ways as I wandered through this bizarre land and I had intentionally created. I left a bug or two in the final game to allow others to find and explore the strange landscape of design. That sounds cool. Oh, we'll have to start pushing against the sides after we. Uh, oh, so you oh, need, I the, need key. the key. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's totally the wrong that way. ice level, man. That's I wasn't paying attention to like where you're at, but yeah. like that's I think the idea. Yeah. On the first end screen, if you push down against the bottom border, um, green bars appear on both the top and bottom barriers. If you try to push against the top barrier, you'll pass through the barrier. This can also be done in the legendary mode. The room with the second gun, if a shield is present and picked up, you may be killed. Wow. That's fucked up. <laughs> Slidey. Oh and God. so he's saying taking only 4K of programming space. It's That's huge. That's amazing. Oh, there's a shield there. They're shooting fast. Oh, not that fast. Yeah, yeah, and you spawn with a shield. Oh, oh what? No, I, I didn't that yeah, time. Yeah, no, you got hit. Oh, did I? Yeah. Oh, damn, where's my shield? Yeah, it's here sometimes, but not others. It seems. Oh my god. You'll be okay. Okay, so that's all the stuff they say. Oh, that's it? Yeah, okay. yeah that's it. Um, They do come back, the enemies. Yeah. Unfortunately. It, it, the running You're is... You're only cleared from, like, if you just came from there and cleared it. No! Oh, Dude, I got you anyway. Oh, and there's a shield. Damn it. Okay, let's line myself up. In the there we go. But you already have a shield, so you're okay. Right. Um, this is a this is nice, man. This is a decent adaptation. Um, uh, so the thing about Halo for me, and what made like Halo kind of huge, was I think 
I was thinking about this. I think there's like really a few titles that all kind of came around the same time that were big FPS. Like you have Quake, Doom, Unreal Tournament, Halo, and Half Life. That's all like 90s. Right. And that's all those kind of. Ones. And those are all like first person shooters. I think Half Life really was one of the first ones with a really great story. Oh, it's an amazing story. And. And then I think, uh, but the thing about Half Life was the um, uh, oh, and Counter Strike as well. Yeah. Um, but I think Half Life, the gameplay was not amazing. I mean, it was a good game, and it did everything that it did. I think they call Halo Combat Evolved, which is a ballsy statement, <laughs> but I but it was true because I think that like um, after playing oh, two shields, wild. Don't need them, but... It's too bad you can't stack them. The yeah. But the shield was the biggest thing that Halo did. Oh, okay. And I think... And I was thinking about this, man. I think what, what makes the shield brilliant from a gameplay perspective is it was the first game that scaled from easy to, like, legendary really well. Okay. Because... Good scaling is important in a game. And um, the shield made that possible because on the hardest difficulty, you basically take one hit, your shield's done, one hit, you're dead. Oh, um, There's no health points? Because you have health, okay. and then you have your shield. And the cool thing is, okay. is your shield regenerates every time, but your health doesn't. Okay. So you can take some shield hits, but you can't, but you have a limited amount of health. So what the cool thing about that, though, is that it offers you, um, I think you're right back at the beginning. Oh. Okay. What? <laughs> Thing. I, am I wrong? No, the colors are different. The colors are different. Let's see. But no, that looks like. Oh, it is. Go up. There should be a shield. Did I up. mess up? Yeah. What the hell? That's okay. You, you got the red key. That's important. But so, like, the cool thing, man, oh, is that on easy, for example, your shield can take like five hits. So, for if you're like an eight-year-old playing Halo, it's amazing. I do another round if you want. Ah. <laughs> Cause like um uh, but if you're uh you know wanting to play the game hardcore, well then you can take two hits. So that's really amazing. Cause I think that I've never played a game before Halo that scaled so well from you know e because they had easy normal. Um, I think they had easy normal, Titan and Legendary, I believe. Oh yeah. And the first one was I remember um, when you actually beat the game on. Normal was very hard, Titan was like very difficult, and Legendary was like impossible. So it was a cool <laughs> game because you could yeah. totally, you could you could play it again on each level, and it's great that they did the, the update. And then, um, and then the other thing about it that was so cool was you had um, uh, uh, human weapons and alien weapons. Okay, yeah. So yep. you would kill someone and you would steal their weapon and you could uh... use it against them. Which is like in Half Life, you have like a crowbar and like a gun. Yeah. And like, I want to know what's in that room. That's where we need to go. That's where we need to backtrack to. I went up. Yeah. That was the problem. So I need to. F you. Shit, man. Where's my shield? There it there is. There it is. Eat that. Eat that. Taking risks, man. Fuck. Oh, good stuff. Ah, uh, that was tactically good, but no, it turned out, yeah, because if you, you shoot, whoa. Give him a shot. Oh, and there was one right there. Ah. And also for um for for it's playing for players, shield. um, it was a different game. It was a lot more tactical. Um, multiplayer, multiplayer. was huge yeah. for Halo. Um, because of the shield, because Counter Strike and Call of Duty style was so fast, you would take okay. one hit and you'd be dead. So it was yes. very, but but you couldn't do that with somebody. You had to take down the shield and then kill them. And there were weapons that would demolish shields but not hurt you. And there's weapons that would hurt oh, you. But, so okay. it was a, it was like the most tactical I've ever seen for just like PvP. Hi Pixel, hi hey, Pixel buddy. He's like, oh yes. What about it? Yeah, you're Dude, trying to mess me up with that's, my game? That's the goal. Hey, man, come <laughs> hang out with me. Yeah. Huh. He's not playing. I'll pet you. But, it, but I, I think that was... Um, and now a lot of that stuff has been copied. Um, oh, since then... The, incorporated. The, the, I don't think there's a single modern... Damn it. Damn it. Pixel. Damn it. 
Oh, he's like right. Oh, I got my shield back. Okay, okay. good. Because because the the a well scaled game is 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 just a modern um, requirement. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, yeah yeah. Nobody wants to play something that all of a sudden it gets too easy or yeah. it gets too hard and then it's like impossible or and, it's boring. And I think it's one of the things that's horribly done in a lot of modern titles. They don't know how to scale because on some games, how do you scale? Like there's no yeah. way to do it. Like with a shield, and it makes so much sense. It's so it's 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 so elegant because. You know, one hit shield's done, one hit you're dead. Right. Versus on the easy, you could take like five hits. So it's like, you know, you can totally casually play the game, you can play it very aggressively. Um, and so it was just a very, very well-rounded game, man, compared yeah. to everything else that was going on. Okay, now I have to go to the right. Yeah. And now it's somewhere we haven't Is been. Is it cleared? Let's see. Oh, no, Let's no, see. it's the three by three aliens. Whoa. I don't know how we're going to do this. Oh my god. Need you need to get a shield, man. There's no two ways about this. Yeah. No, I think... I think there's one to the... Yeah. To good the choice. Left here? Yeah. Yeah. You just have to, like, kill this guy, and he should drop a shield. Hopefully. Not, not always, I'll just though. keep doing it, because that's... Oh. There should be one down here now. Yeah. Whoa. But yeah, I'm not going to attempt that room without a shield. That is for sure, because I need that extra time. Because they reset. If you don't kill everybody in that room, yeah. it resets. Ugh. 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 They do ra appear randomly. So you can kind of cheese it to your advantage. Oh, you should have just kept going, because fuck. Oh, it's one hit and it killed them all? Oh, okay. I can do this. I thought I had to destroy three. No yeah. shield? F you! <laughs> yeah, man, you did it without a shield. Let's see what this is. Double gun? Special gun? It's an updated gun, man, for sure. Nice. Double shots, hopefully. Do something better than God, hopefully. There we go. There we go. Psst, 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 psst. Pixel, buddy. I love you too, but you can't be there. Yeah, he's he's always the nicest one. Okay, what do I got now? So faster, it's just faster, man. That's a big That's deal. That's good. That's a big deal. Because then it because you only get one bullet, so faster it goes. The f but now it's the dead end. Where do I go now? Um, I don't remember seeing any other paths. Just keep going. I'll I'll see if I can remember. I think I think you went up and you need to go down at a certain point. Because it's the ice level, correct? See, ice level's up. No, that's back to where you came. Oh. So keep going down. I'll, t I'll I think I think I remember. Okay. Um, I'll just have to like near the ice room, right? Yeah, totally, Carl. Uh, so keep going. Let go down. This is not. Really, this is not... Go right. Oh, I need that. Yeah. Well, you got this new gun, man. You should get that right away next time. Oh, the. I don't think I can. I oh, you totally key. can. I don't think you need the key. Oh, yeah. I think you can just kill oh, these guys. True. So that's good to know. It is. That you can do that. And I love that that it's like for so much better. Cool. Oh, you so get such better. a. It's like a real reward. So now I believe you can go up or down on this next room. No, it's the next one. Okay. Oh, this is so much better. Right, so you, we got to get that gun right away. Yeah, because they have a, a little bit of time before they start moving or shooting. And if it's only one guy in the room, then... Yeah, so that's... I believe this is up or down now. Yes. yes. Okay, so you gotta well, go down. Ice. Oh, damn it. I lost my shield. Yeah. Come on, shield! Yeah. Oh. oh. Damn it. And then now we're... I really need a shield. I bet these are fast shooters. Nope. Shield, give me. Um, ah. And also diversity of weapons um, was huge. Yeah. It was it was uh, very 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 well diverse because you have alien weapons. Not too close. Um, you have alien weapons. You have human weapons. You have shotguns. You have sniper rifles. Oh, you have yeah, them yeah. in both versions. So it was very so it was really fun to play because you could try to beat it with different. Um, Long way. You retain all your weapons. Oh, I have a shield. Oh, now I don't. No, no, you're good. So now, now we're kick. Oh, this, this is this, this is, is new. new. This is okay. new. Okay. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, fat guy. Big, wide dude. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what are these called? They have a name for them. Oh, I already have that. Yeah. Okay, should I, I cheese it? Because I... It's just killing people doesn't help. No, and they're much bigger now, man. Oof. What's going on? Really big. <laughs> okay, there's up. Okay, it's like I haven't tried the top. Here we go. The complete top area, but should I look around? Um. Oh my God. It's worth it. I don't know. Because I didn't see the whole complete. Top. Oh, yeah. It's worth it because I think. It might be. Oh, yep. Needed it. Okay, thank God. That would have yep. sucked, man. We just oh, wandered around. Oh, a door. Great. Yay. Can't get through it. Oh, God. Happiness is a fast gun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this game is... Oh, yeah, you can do this. And you just go back and forth oh, while yeah. they're paused. <laughs> so, so much power. You need it. You know their weakness. Yeah. One of these guys. Really? I think it's my gotta last go down. Gotta go. Oh, yeah, there's like there's a shield all the way to the right if you want. Oh, yes, I do. Very much. Um, and then, and then yeah, left, and then down. No. Yep. Is it down? Yep. Keep going left, and really? then down, yeah. Oh. And now you're here. Yes, okay. Am I skating? Yeah. <laughs> I got, a, I got a stupid good memory for layouts. Thank God, I have a terrible <laughs> memory for that. Terrible for mazes. I hate maze games. Thanks. That's great. That's rough. Okay, so I think there's probably a new gun room, I bet. So is that a Oh, yeah, we got to go. Okay. Oh, fuck. Okay. Which way? Down. Down, yeah. And the left, left is this one. So I've, right I'm right on me. I'm Damn right. it! Oh. Whoa! Let's see what. Did we get an upgrade? Let's see. I hope we got an upgrade. That would be badass. I need a shield. Oh, What's good. This? Boots. Running boots. Running boots? There we go. Oh, so now we're faster. That'll Fuck. Help that's a awesome, lot. dude. I'm so, I love I love that choice. That's an amazing design choice to give us like um, better like upgrades for speed. I needed it. Oh, I need a shield so badly. Oh no. Whoa. Ah! Keep going, man. Keep going. No. <laughs> keep keep pushing. No, no, no. Because no, I think if we're gonna have any chance to beat this fucker, and it's I'll so long. <laughs> do, do one more round, and I'll, I'll help you out with the thing, and then we'll move on. Because I think there's... We'll see if we can get farther. Oh, this might be for the 12-hour. If I don't finish it this time, it's just too long. Yeah. We'll move on. Because we got to get some scores. Man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, now you feel so small. So, so, like... So, so, so you're, you're slow. With bullet and... Everything's so slow. There's a really um, uh, amazing Ooh, game time. called Morrowind, which is like the third Elder Scrolls. Yes. Um, and the cool thing about Morrowind is you start out crawling, and by the end, you're like super fast. So your speed upgrade makes a huge difference. Oh. It's the only other game I can think of where speed is a huge component to it. And because you're navigating a world, it's like if you can move faster, Sorry. it's a huge Do they deal. have horses in that? Um, no, they don't. <laughs> it's just fed fast travel. Though. Yeah. Right? It's an early RPG. It's a good game. Um, I don't think I played Morrowind. It's, it's... I started with a, a Oblivion. Yeah, the Oblivion's Oblivion, Oblivion I, I is a is a weird in between. I don't like Oblivion at really? all personally. I liked it when I played it. Um, but but Skyrim was now. So. Well the thing about Oblivion is I love parts of it, but for like a metagamer like me it's really hard because um I am I'm, I'm always looking to build like a character that's very unique. Oh, okay. Um, and one of the challenges of that game is it's really easy to cheat. Like to, to, I would go yeah, yeah. This way, yeah. Do it, get, get your the update. good gun. I nope. think you should do the ones that's that's closest. So you should do the um What the hell? I would recommend doing the top one and the bottom one first because they're closer and you can kill them faster. You got it fine now, but yeah. you see what I mean where the one guy's in the middle is farther away, so your bullet Do the closer ones first. Yeah, top, bottom and then middle would be my recommendations. Well, they're random every But time. you you got them. Random place. But whichever one's closest would be the the best. Yeah. Guy. Um, but um but the thing I, I struggled oh. with Oblivion was um, with those bigger games. Is the problem was is they scale with you. So like they if do. you're level one, everything's level one. If you're level two, everything's level two. Level seventy rat. 
Yeah, so you reach this point where I, there's no incentive to improve, right? which I found stay. really, really frustrating. Oh, I see, because if you stay the same on a low level, everything's easy. Yeah, and you, so have, to, and you have to sleep to level up, so yeah. you could just never sleep. You could reach a point in the game and just stay there, and that bothers me. And then also all the equipment that you find scales with you, even legendaries. Oh, really? So the issue is, is there's also, so you're supposed to like pick up certain items at different levels levels and so it's just I, I, it became really frustrating because it didn't have a very good meta which just means metas just like if you want to like be the best or okay. do, the, do all the stuff up first yeah up first for the key um which 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 bugged me although i like the story and i like the experience of it quite a bit um skyrim was a bit better but um before that mostly so well, no, oh, I think I think Skyrim was a great game, yeah. but I also think the things I didn't like about Skyrim was the same issues of like, you know, what is the incentive to level up? Right. What is the incentive to to to? Well, to get to, you know, yeah, to be allowed to go to the next part. Well, but you can do the, everything in the game at any point. Really? Yeah. There's no restrictions. No. Okay. So, but it's but it's a, it's a smoother it's a smoother ride for sure. Uh, and it's the, oh, there's always good stories. Need a shield. Mm. Ah. Some good dodging, dodging, man! Holy shit! Threading the needle. Yeah. Uh, too close. Ah. That was terrible in the last game where. Um, I think the red they ones were right a bit against me. Oh, it was insane. That was terrible. That was. There should be like minimum distance. Oh yeah. Like I ran into the room of death because they're right there. I think that was a bit of a. I need to go up. Okay, so up to left. Up left, you're right. Um, you can hug the corner too, because then you can oh. you can do that, right? I would kill these guys. I think you're gonna like have a better bet. The top guys are probably. Better. Okay. Now I would just go left and then up, because yeah, you can you can hug the corner and then like <laughs> boom, <laughs> yeah. Traverse two rooms in one. Ah, well, we survived then. Yeah. Oh. Now it's down, down, down. Yeah, down. exactly. But I might want to hug the corner so I can reset the screen. Yeah, <laughs> it's a bit it's a bit of a cheat, but it, everybody's it, quiet. It works. They're watching. Oh, it's all good. Or they've completely logged out. They're like nah. No, sometimes they're quiet. Sometimes you'll say, hey, is anybody there? And they'll go, yeah, 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 you're here watching. Have it in the background. Yeah, man. Oh, nope. Go to the bottom. I'm doing better this time? Yeah, no, working. <laughs> working, yeah. Hey, man, it's all good. A lot good. of people do that while they watch the... Oh, these guys are so close. They're facing the opposite. Oh, I could have oh, done shit, it. Man. No. Yeah. Which way should I go? I think it's left, isn't it? Damn it. Ooh. No, I don't have my shield. Same RC-70. Yeah, it's, not, it's all good, guys. It's all good. Oh, yeah, this is the right direction. This is definitely a good call. No, thank God. If you go back, you're going to get hit. Oh, three of those guys again. Nope. Yeah. Now, there's something to be said about going to collect the uh, shield instead of pushing forward. However, I don't know um, where shield is, though. Um, actually, it's quite a bit of ways away, yeah. so I don't know if it's a well, good idea. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's, it's random each time. Oh, oh no. It's okay. Almost you, through the you, you, you got you got a couple lives left too. <laughs> oh oh oh! The edge too much. Oh yes, thank God. Oh. Okay, they set us up nicely. Yep. Oh oh, Whoa, is this, this new? Is new. Holy shit. Now there's undefeatable Fuck enemies. Fuck me, man. Yeah, uh, without the boots, can you defeat it? Let's find out. I don't know. No. No. Whoa. Just see what the fuck is that? It's in, oh, it's invisible. They have this. Uh, that's actually the case in, in Halo. You have invisible enemies. That's. Oh my god. Oh, you can't even put the they, controller I down bet anymore. I bet it's to the left. Yeah. You're going backwards now. Am I? Yeah. Oh, damn it. Because it reset you. Oh, right. It's left. I was confused. Just push through. Just, just push through. You got shield. 
this button, and then go to the right. I don't have to. Whoa, yeah, there's no fucking way you can do this without the shield, man. Holy shit. This game just got intense. Oh my, my last life and no shield, okay, though. Okay. Holy shit, okay. Whoa, yeah. There we go. Oh, oh. thank god. Just rest a bit. Okay, okay. Yeah, dude, look at those maneuvering skills in D. I mean, this is why James <laughs> is playing and not me. Because your skill is higher for sure when it comes to, to certain games. Like, holy shit, yeah. Oh, the corners. That's good. Oh! Oh boss. my god, did we just. We're at the end. Oh shit. Holy shit. Oh, he's in a pattern. Okay. Oh. It's faster. Ooh. Is that. Did I do it? Holy shit, thank I've god, gone. man. Okay, I didn't. <sighs> It's actually a shorter game than I thought. It felt yeah, like it was going to be gonna like... going to be another section, like one more kind of section. Wow. Okay. I'm so happy we did that. That was yeah, the me best. Too. Wow. The best possible way to go. <laughs> Dan says finally. Well, sw well there's <laughs> yeah. only three games I did. Three yeah, or four? Yeah, three, four, three, which four? is good. Yeah. I couldn't have done okay. that, man. I like this end screen. You had, you had to do corners a lot. Because have to do corners. If you were trying to kill everybody on every screen, you would... You would get killed because double update is good. Um, yep. uh, for I think it's a great little game, man. It's the yeah. only thing that's too bad about this is it's tough to replay because of the style of it. You can tell, hey, that's why something like it's, a Galaga it's, is it's very linear. This game, exactly. Yeah, not that La Galaga isn't linear. It's no. the same thing as well. But there's a feeling in Galaga that like that that feeling that you can just push and push and push and push Forever. and push, yeah. and that like you there's a real skill component. Yeah. This is a real skill component, but it's also that kind of just learning the maze learning the maps um, yeah once you've got the maps done like i powered through it pretty yeah. quick that last um last go through so a modern a modern game approach to designs like this is to have an rng map thrust says i knew you'd want to complete it yeah i definitely did but i didn't know how long yeah an yeah. rng would be like an option exactly for a random random maze and this is a lot of the games that i play on a consistent level there is the map regenerates each time yeah. And so for something like, for like a game like this, obviously you couldn't do that for programming limitations, but you can no. see why that's an it's only 4K. That... If he did 8K, he probably could be able to put in that code, extra code for, because you have to line up. You have to go, okay, this has an exit and this has an exit. So I have to know to join these up. Totally. Because random is random. And, and then, then uh... you go, okay, I need five levels Five screens for level one, six screens for level two. Dude, the key it will has be the, here. Yeah, a key needs to be in one of these five. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I, I, but I mean, that's Space not... Game is winnable too. It Holy is? Shit. Oh, okay. Well, we probably won't do that, but we'll <laughs> it's see. probably like 99 levels. Apparently, there's another run through on extreme mode. Which is legendary. Legendary mode. Are we now in legendary mode? I uh, mean, apparently, it's on the red screen. Well, is that the big gun? Oh, so you got to beat the game once, and then oh I think God, you're slower. So slow. You're way slower. Oh, you're the bullets so are slow. much slower. What a what a. Oh my God! This is this would be so hard. See, this is where I'm not gonna lie. The scalability is difficult, right? This is where. Yeah. I'll t I'll tell you, man. If you ever want to study and look at a great scalable level, uh, I feel like I'm walking through, just. The I mean, man. Oh, the I can't run. They're like faster. Than this me. is the problem: is uh, that um, uh, oh, I got hit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's that's this is one of the big, big issues. Lead boot mode. Oh my god, it's it's. It painful. is lead boot mode, it's man. So painful. It's uh, you almost half. I would shoot almost everyone. say that it's uh, not as fun. No. That's the issue, right? That's why, um, like I tell you, man, the first. Halo game was one of the best scaled games of all time because it, it, it was like easy whatever mode you played on worked you didn't you know what I mean right. and it's because of it's that shield it, right. the shield is such an elegant way to do it because imagine like if legend if the mode here was let's say you um, have five lives um, or your double, shield, double your, up the shield your maybe. shield can take two hits 
yeah. all of a sudden, then you feel like then you can have but more the enemies, enemies, and they're stronger. And so then, legendary mode is you can just take less hits. That's such a better scale than speed because speed yeah. feels like oh um, my God. painful. It's just not fun, <laughs> especially it feels like something's been taken away. Yes. That is um, uh, your your movement has been taken away. You cannot outrun the fast bullets. That's yeah. for sure. You... Can you try this next room? See if it's possible to even do this. I mean, you you're doing it. You needed that Did shield. It. But you had to have the shield. You're, you're, okay. You're surviving, but yeah, it's not it's, fun. It's it, it's it's <clears throat> tough, man. There we go. So super fun. I'm glad uh, we were able to see the whole game. Oh hell yeah! Hold okay, up. I got it. Uh, oh, yeah. Space out here in game. What well, NTSC probably? Oh, wait, we are. Uh, yes, always NTSC. Just wait okay. once. Oh shit, I That's hit fine. it, but I'm it's sure it won't. Just have a technical screen. Space game. Space. The final frontier. Where's my I'm right there. Oh. Black on black, it's hard to see. So, Carl G is in the chat with hey, us. Carl. The developer of Space Game. Dude, holy shit, man. He, he says there's 12 waves on default, 4 bosses. Oh, okay. And then I love that Dan ABC is like, somebody's supposed to Atari said they beat the game. <laughs> so, so, that they beat the game? Oh, yeah. this game? Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, so we're playing for high scores here. Uh, we have played this game on the show before. Uh, this is a 32K game. Other games made by Carl G. Uh, in a Cannons, Toy Shop, Terminator, Space, Game, and Penult. And this game is co- Created by Carl Garrison and Maggie Vogel, a.k.a. Carl G. and M.V.O. Wow. And uh, the high scores we're going to be going for, the top one right now is Lid Likes in Television. He is Where's he at? a crazy gamer, and he has lots of top, top scores. Uh, he's at 37,775. So 37,000 is the That's, that's the, the one to aim for. I don't think we'll make it. Okay. But the one beneath that is at 13,000. So you can see how much above lid is. So, um, so okay, so so we're gonna be playing on save the earth hard mode. Cool. So how do I get left to that? Difficulty do I just... B, uh, left difficulty on B, right on A. Okay. Makes uh, sense. It says here are the rules. Play on save the earth hard mode. Scoring goes. Ah, uh, then ABC popped in and said that too. That's nice. Thanks, save man. the earth mode is hard. Is a lovely. Yeah. Uh, scoring goes as forward. Top ten. Oh uh, yeah, ten. Uh, this round ends on June 2nd, so people have tons of time to beat my score and knock me off this, uh, off the uh, scoring board. <laughs> We're going to see what we can do about that. We'll see yeah. if we can... Now, before we play, this is a game all about power-ups. Okay. Um, and I think there's about 10 of them, so we're going to go through them beforehand. Otherwise, Because I'm you have to memorize them, and it's like fast reaction to grab them or not grab them. Because there's bad power-ups. Oh, shit. I think I've played this one? this one before. Yes. So there's fast ship, which moves you which fast. Is the lightning bolt, okay. Double I don't ship know if is I like two. Double ship Wide missile. Is, double ship is good. Jammed cannon is obviously not good. No. Blast shield. Bad uh, navigation is not good. Slow ship is not good. Wide ship is bad because you're just doubled. So you're basically we're thinking... Blast shield? Lightning bolt, blast shield, two ships, and wide missile is probably the best. Yeah, so you have to memorize the look of those things yeah. and either catch them or move out of the way. Okay. And there's also That's a really... question mark as well, which gives you a random one. I like that. I would avoid the, the random ones. Yeah, Carl desperate. G says faster sh faster ship equals faster oh, shots. Okay, I didn't know that. Okay, so fast ship is a good one. So fast ship for sure, blast shield, double, double ship, ship, wide right. missile, um, nothing else. Cancel technology. Cancel technology. Okay. Oh, it's good that I played this before. I didn't remember if I didn't. I remember those upgrades. So. Yeah. Okay, I'll let you go f first. Yeah, because you're. We're gonna wanna like. Bosses are on waves three, six, nine, and twelve, and there are twelve waves. And it's beatable. Okay. And it, so it is beatable. Ooh, that's... So it's about getting the best score. I don't know if Lid likes Intellivision to actually finish the game. It'll be interesting to find out. Okay, let's let's let's. And, uh, and wow. the, oh, what the hell was that? There was okay. like two, and then there was three, and you shot one, and then it came back. Wow, and... okay, um, 
Now, um, this was the winner for best Batari Basic in the 2018 Homebrew Atari Awards, which we hosted on Zero Page Homebrew. Whoa. And that was the one you wanted. Holy shit. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna... 675. Yeah. Anybody want to type that in the chat? 675? No, thank you. you just, you'll take a, you'll take a, a, I'll take a pass a, on that We'll one. call that a warm-up rust through the pipes. <laughs> Uh, oh. That's a random. Whoa, they fast. Yeah, and that's this... that's the difficulty. Oh, the, the question mark is bad navigation. That's what that was. Yeah, Which no means thanks. left is right and right is left. Terrible. What's, what's that? That's like a bomb? No, the thing is that turns into... A so the longer up. you take on the level, the less time you have to decide whether to get whether it Whether I want it or not. Holy shit, man. So you'll have I'm almost not, no... I'm not, my, I'm not shooting so well. Uh, shooting so well, Tex. So now it's almost... Oh, oh it reproduces. God. Interesting. Okay, so do I hit... If I hit that thing, is that bad? I don't know. Uh, I think it's a... Oh, maybe it's a death. Do you know what I mean? Like, I feel That's like... That's also a timer. Oh, fuck. Because, like, this thing... What do you do? What do you do, You wait. James? You, you wait, wait and hope. You hope, hope, hope Is it going to kill me? Let's find it's out. coming for you. Let's find out. Let's find out. Does it kill me? Yeah, of course. Holy shit. So I was thinking you could cheese the game by just... Whoa. Shooting, waiting for it to replicate, okay. shooting, but no, there's a timer. Jesus, I'm just shooting in between these ships, man. My aim is... You gotta go boom, boom, boom. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, that like that, except three. And now you're out of time. <laughs> Holy... Yeah, now no, I'm fucked, man. It's got that nice noise of what do you do? impending doom. What do you do? It's not gonna come over. You might. You yeah. might. Or not. Death to you. So I made it to 900. Let me try one more because these are not even like... <laughs> if you hit, you die, Dan ABC says. The smiles can you regenerate. Just the smiles? Oh. My aim is terrible. <laughs> there you go. That was wide ship, which you don't want. Lightning, you want to go? Oh, that would have been good. They're so... This is a They're hard so difficulty, fast. man. Fuck me. I don't think I've ever played on this difficulty. I think it is a lot faster. Like... I think he figured that the easy difficulty was too easy. And he wanted lower scores and shorter games. Whoa. Is he just us. instantly regenerated? Is that one? The time? Time slows down? The Martians can, too. Okay, so there's multiple regenerating. Slow ship. No, you don't want that. Don't want the time clock. You may want that. It's random. You haven't gotten any power up, so. Well, that would have been a good one because it's high up. You have a lot of time. Get it? There you go. Fast shooting. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. shoot. Well, I have to be fast shooting, but like. The ones I want for the double. The times two. Flash shield and wide missile. Fast ship, eh, it's okay. I think it's too fast for moving. Oh, it's ran out. And they do run out. You don't get them. Oh, no, it's still going. Oh, cancel technology. Cancel the technology you have. Oh, that's a big deal if you got a shit one. Yeah, that's true. How are you doing, Pixel? Oh, good. What's up? Oh. Whoa, whoa, oh. whoa. Do I not hit them? Dodge. Yep. Fuck me, man. God damn it. <laughs> No, no! There you go, you made it. Oh. Second level, out of 12. Okay, Jesus Christ. All right. Ooh, bats. Bats in space, you want that? I like this. Okay. At least you're getting a score on the board. It's good. Well, yeah, man. Got my fast chip. Yep. I got a fast chip. <laughs> Oh my god. Another time, there you go. Uh I'm not gonna lie, that fast shit helped a lot. Yeah, you like that one? Well you could stick with it. You don't have to get any power. No, you don't want that. Oh fuck. <laughs> I went for it. Come on, give me something. Cancel tech. We Anything. need to cancel the tech. We need to cancel the tech. We need to ship it back to where it came Weirdly, from. Weirdly I'm not doing terrible with this. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's cool. Maybe Somehow. more accurate? Uh, Gives you slower... Oh, oh shit. No. Whoa. Keep going. Whoa. Come on, friends. 
I don't know how to rhythm, and I lost it. One little bit more. There you go. I don't know what that was. That's hard I'm just saying, like, not even going for them because they're a they're like hard, but b that was a jam yes. cannon. You definitely did. didn't want that. I got the shit. You got the fast one. Nice. Whoa. Holy shit. Okay. Come on, friends. Oh god. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, no. I got my fast that shit. Navigation. That's all I need for now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're at the end of the level. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. No, 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 no. Don't. Come on, there's not that many Can on this shoot? side. Can you shoot? No. no. <sighs> oh. Not anymore. Time's out. Oh, it time's out. Oh, oh. Well, you haven't encountered that, so. Okay, okay. <laughs> Copter thingies. What? You shot that. Whoa, what? Pixel. Pixel, this is not the time for love. Normally. Stre oh, sorry. Stress time. Oh, okay. 8150. So that's, okay. I feel like at least I managed to do something. You are in second to last place. <laughs> so last. That's fair. That's all you can ask for sometimes. <laughs> second to last place. Oh, Dan's take a keep it score. Thank you, oh, Dan. Oh, thanks, Dan. <laughs> yes. No. No. <laughs> I'm big fat chip. No. That's rough, man. That's a rough one. Anything but this. You'll be okay. Uh, you'll there's be... worse than this. Bad navigation is uh, way worse than this. I'm, I'm, I like that we're playing this on the hardest difficulty, man. This is a real game now. What? Not that it wasn't a real game before, but <laughs> I'm just saying that... Uh... Yes. Oh. Time to kick ass. Dude. Yeah, time to wreck. Kick ass and chew bubble gum and I'm all out of bubble gum. Oh, that's right, dude. Nothing, nothing but this. This is so good. It's my favorite. Oh yeah, this is this is also it's Galaga time. It is Galaga time, man. Oh no. It's okay. It's okay. If you think about it, that's why that's such an no. advantage. It is. That one. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Pixel. It's advantage. Oh, I've got it back. Oh no, oh, not here. For the worst time <laughs> ever. Or is this just interlude? Like I don't think seem to be hitting. Um, getting hit. I don't know. You gotta dodge him still. Do I still have double? Please, yes. Kill, kill, or kill again. Kill, kill, kill. Oh, wow. Wow, what an advantage That's this one massive, is. Especially if you hit them, like, right on. You can see then then these ones are a bit harder, but damn. Hey, hey. Oh, no. Yeah, man, it's it's like, you kind of got to, like, I, I I found myself constantly, like, uh, shoot and dodge, right? Like, you, you get in there, <laughs> yeah. you line it up, and you move out as quickly as possible. Yes. Oh, definitely. So low, get out of here. Times two again. Nope. No. <laughs> Bad navigation. Oh, three shots. Sixty-nine hundred. Oh. oh, you beat me. That's after like three goes, man. <laughs> That's true. You had a bit of more practice. Oh, dude, you lose fifty points per collision. So that oh. was probably what fucked you, man, because you just, like, took, like, so much. Oh, my God. That's why. I was taking hits. That makes sense. Okay. Oh, Thank shit. you, Carl G. Whoa. Double shift. Scoring. Each alien killed 75 points. Each group of aliens killed 50. Is there, like, a speed? Uh, no. Like if you kill it faster, do you get, Because like... I would have got a huge score, because I was just... You're wrecking it. Destroying. Oh, fucking. Boss killed 500 points. I don't think we made it to a boss. No. Either. Whoa. I think, I think four is like a boss. Yeah. Three, it's ridiculous. Three, six, like, nine? I fucking got killed like on like the first level. This goes to show like three, how, six, nine, how well we're going to do. Uh, no collisions in the debris field is 300 points. I like the design of this one a lot, the snowflake one. I think oh, that's some beautiful one. work, man. All of them actually, the happy face. Yeah, I like they're the, really nice I designs. I like having that. Oh, oh no. Let's see. Each collision in a debris or wormhole is minus 50. Uh, extra lives. Extra life at 20,000. <laughs> Honestly, getting a good oh my God. upgrade is a big deal in this game, man. It, it makes night and day. Especially the double. Whoa. I, I was really lucky to get that double quick and just... Uh, well, you no, got the no, double twice, man. Yeah. Really good luck. It was like right after I lost it, too. 
300 points to go through unscathed through the... See, I was really unlucky. I got the double ship right before right that. Before. Yeah, it's the worst time. Psst. No, no, no. Psst. Nope. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> he stepped on the cable and it went... There's always the... Don't get hit. Don't get hit. Don't get hit. Oh, you got hit. <laughs> now you don't get plus 300. That's okay. I just have to not, like... I find if you hug the wall, it's actually, like, pretty decent. It's not a bad strategy. Then you you only have to think of them from one side, rather than both sides. Get that. Now it's time to kick some of But it's also like twice as death. But they count uh, individually, so you don't die if you get hit. It's not like a double ship. So you don't want to get in the m middle of them on a triple because there's they. No. Oh, I'm no. An idiot. That's the opposite. I had it. I had I had the dream. The ultimate weapon. The dream, and I was lost. You threw it away. Oh, no. Oh, 5875. Yeah, I probably might have been able to do okay if I hadn't died twice on the first level. And... His joystick is getting a little spongy. Oh, he says, uh, that sound when power-up is at bottom? I think we're hearing stream sound plus your room sound. Oh, what? Uh... It's probably because the... I'm gonna turn it down. Yeah, we'll turn it down a bit. It's just there's gonna be an echo. Yeah. It's, it's just one of the issues of. I'll turn like, up the game so you can balance it a bit better. Yeah. Reset. Or not. There we go. There we go. Pixel says, ah, should I pull him off? Uh, we'll see. He's just. He's, he's in the worst. And if you shoot them, if you go in after they shoot, like they shoot, then you go in and attack them. Oh That's my god, strategy. there's some, there's some thoughts. No thoughts, please. <laughs> Pixel's just watching the oh, sprites on screen. I'm distracted. Okay, come on. I know, love. Yep, thanks. Thanks for all this. Yep. Okay, you're gonna need to be kicked out of yeah, I know, you don't get your way and you're upset. Cats are like little kids sometimes, man. Oh yeah, for sure. No. Because <laughs> you kind of have to head towards it, and then at the last minute go, nope. Yeah, it's interesting that sometimes they, they don't become something. You yeah, know it's I mean? not, every, not a bonus every time. I think that's probably a hard mode thing. I think... It comes, Less chance? Yeah, I think it became something each time on the... Oh, I think it did. Man... It's a big difference to like um, to get a good power up in this game. Hard. Oh, fast eyes. Yeah, as soon as these guys get too close, man. Whoa, dodging shit, man, left and right. Hard to get that guy. We need something. We need some power up. Yeah, you're gonna enjoy this. A big difference. I think the fast ship is a is a big is a big. It's bonus. a good bonus. I like the double better, but you can shoot really quick. Yeah, you can kind of like jump in and out. Them. Oh, hit right away. Yeah, see if you hug the left. Cat, dude. I'll do it a bit. I'll I'll do it once. Once there's no pausing. I know that's the thing. That's the worst spot. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, oh, here's pausing. Okay. Okay, come on. Pixel. No, no, you're up to shenanigans. It should be, your 2600 should be modded for repelling cats. Revoked. Put a big clear acrylic case over the whole That's thing. That's right. Just, <laughs> just did. What is it? Uh, real cool sound when you power up and get to the bottom. It's true, man. I'm not, I'm not hating this uh, rapid fire. Really good, man. It's. I think that like the double ship and this one, I would say are on the same tier because they both have yeah, advantages. Well, this, this might even be better because you're not as wide. And the ability to dodge, but you get an extra life with the double ship. That's yeah. the other thing about the double ship. Well, no, because you can get hit once and you're totally fine. That's true. So it's essentially an extra oh, life. I should oh, you should have because this one's almost done. Oh no, it runs out. That's right. Back to basics. Yeah. Or not. I'm kicking ass again. 
And this is probably better not to get into. Uh, well, right before here? Oh, no, no, not really. So, cease hug. Hug nope. the left. And, Let's see. And... Whoa. Whoa. Holy shit, James. Good work, dude. That's hard with Devil Chef. What? That's hard, man. These guys are like... Oh, you have to shoot them at a certain time. When they're uh, horizontal, I remember. Nope. Or not. Vertical. Vert oh my god. Oh, dude. 80 50, that's my best. That's good. I think it's a little bit less than Keep yours. doing other, keep going. Because uh, we're going to get you some scores, man. Because it's uh, 12 30, so. Yeah, oh, do you rest. need a rest? Cool. Yeah, just, just in between the games, I think, be able to maintain it. Maybe. <laughs> to be a little bit harder because you're like they're erratic and they move low Ooh. it's hard because you got to make a decision very quick decision oh very oh you could have got that one. that's good too i just like that's like a uh, shield or something <clears throat> so uh this game is available in the atari age store if you do want to buy it um, or it is also available, um, early, an early binary, not a final one, but you can download an early one in the Atari Age forums. No, did you see that? And, and that's what we're... fucking regen on me, man. Let me get more points. But I, oh, I'm almost dead. <laughs> you, haven't, you haven't got killed at all. No, but I mean, like, oh, that, the, thing. that thing was oh, so yeah. close, right? That's Cause, the danger of the Because that was the thing about the regen, is it's like, it just takes longer. And this is one of definitely one of the best shooters um, yeah, on the thing, system, just because of the mechanics. This that, and Galaga. Man. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I oh, mean, now Galaga's in the ethos. Yeah. Yes. Not out yet. Nobody can play it. Yes. Oh shit! I just don't know. That one's a good one. I mean, we know we know two of them. We know the lightning bolt and the times two are awesome. But that dot above it, yeah, that's good. That's good too. The dot is. Oh, wide fuck. missile. I missed it so many times. There's like, this game has been like, I've been given like... So many opportunities. Yeah, I've been given like two lightning bolts, like five <laughs> fucking things. Get it! Yeah. Oh, no! no! The worst time to get it. The oh. worst time in the world, man. Oh, you've been hit three times, four I'm trying times. my best. I mean, it's not much... Oh, right at the end. But at least you have it for now. Is that better? No, not really, but... I mean, I think I'd like more, times two better. I get more time, which is good. I'm good at that. That's a nightmare. <laughs> That's a total nightmare. Whoa. Shots are getting a lot more accurate, which is uh, really good. Maybe. I mean... These guys. As soon as I say it. That's the thing. It depends on the guys, I guess, because some move around a lot more. The public one is mostly the same, but no bonus wave and no Atari box save key support. Oh. Uh, walked right into it. Him. No! Whoa, uh -oh. Now you're in trouble. Uh oh. Left is right, and right is left. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, friends. God damn it. <laughs> It's a bad time for early. Get, oh, any, get anything but this. Anything with this. Anything. Oh no. Better. Anything's better oh, than this. Oh fuck me. Somehow <laughs> I'm doing okay. <laughs> if you've reversed your brain. Oh. Oh, oh my god. It's almost guaranteed death. I didn't. It was oh. pretty good. 73.75. Oh god. Yeah, there's lots of room to improve for sure. Yeah. It's 8,000 seems to be our cap at the moment. Yeah. And we should go push back. Because it no, <laughs> I definitely want in the tens, above ten. Yeah, I mean I think we can do thirteen. I oh, I think so. Yeah, no, yeah. It's, it's in if reach. We can do eight. No, if we can do eight, we can do thirteen. So it's less than double. Yeah, and if I had gotten like any of those power ups, <laughs> that what, I did, did I miss it? Yeah, you did. What? You the? were so close. No, I mean that's a, that's gonna be a fun one. Too. It, it could be anything. Which could be terrible. Could be that reverse thing you got, which is a nightmare. I don't know what I got. 
Oh, it's jammed. It's not you. Every time I fire, is not working all the time. Oh god, what a nightmare. Luckily, it like runs out. This one isn't as bad as time slows for you. Not oh, for you. this is yeah, time slows for you. More accurate. Now we're playing uh, legendary difficulty. <laughs> yes, we are <laughs> lead boot version. That's right. Oh god damn it, man. And yeah, there's some serious issues with timing now, potentially, right? Uh, die, die, die. Something else. Careful. Don't, you know. I don't know. You, you don't want to get too... Oh, no. Nice. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm playing all the worst. <laughs> what well, a game, getting a, man. Like, getting a good tour That's of... That's why this game rocks. It's <laughs> like, you think you're doing well, and then all of a sudden you fucking... Like, oh, time slows, you get a wide ship, you get reversed, oh. you're stuck in, like, the space level trying to dodge stuff. With a wide ship. It's a well-made game. I like this game. Did I get hit? I don't think I did. I think you did, man. You got through. You, you're still stuck with this fucking thing, but... Anything. I'm not oh. anything, but something else. At least my shots aren't hampered. My speed isn't hampered. Yeah, I mean, this, I is, still this is not the worst-case scenario, but, um... No. Well, that would can't... That would cancel? No. That was jammed? Anyway, I don't like it. I don't like and it. And this is almost done too. You just gotta, you just gotta like survive a little bit longer. Okay. You see, it's on the red, so it's really close to being done. Oh my! Uh, yeah. Power up. Okay. Yeah, it there been. you go. You're back. Yay! Yeah. No. No. Ah. If it slowed everything down, that would be very interesting. But it just slows. Yeah. yeah. Like bullet time. Yeah, I mean, it would just be a slightly different game, which would be fun. Yeah, it'd be definitely easier to shoot them. Stoner mode. <laughs> Engaged. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's just kind of slow down I just feel like easy. there's a lot of love in the world. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. At least I'm not wide. Let's get the bonus. Let's get this bonus. Yeah. Wave three. This is okay. the and this is the boss. Oh yeah, that's why these things. Oh yeah. Okay, no, it's it's when they're wide. It's when they're when they're stopped. When they're shooting. That's why it's hard. Because when they've stopped turning is when they're shooting. No, I mean, they just rotate. Ah, uh, that was like yes. Okay. Good. Whoa, that's rough, man. What's happening? Oh, it's just random whether they die or not, I guess. What is happening? Oh my god. What a rough situation. Oh, and this timer is going to start becoming a big deal, man. You be careful. Oh, it's right no. There. Ten, man. It's that's better. Good. It's better. Do I do another one or you want to Oh, when they're stopped. Oh, Ooh. that's the thing. Okay, okay. But I swear I was just barraging them when they were stopped. Like, oh yeah, bah, you bah, bah, you bah, hit bah, them bah, a few bah. times, but I'm sure it's like um, that's good though, man. Ten. I'm I'm happy. Let's see where that puts me. I don't think it's it's not the top. Ten, one, two, five. Because I need to put in a good score. Dude, no. I got wider missile. It doesn't put it me any risk. higher. I'm second to last. I took a risk and it paid off. Oh, nice. I've never seen the wide missile. Yeah, I took, I took a, I took a uh, question mark. Just because I was like, well, it's the first one. Fuck it. Why not? Yeah. No, I'm I not like happy the, with that. I like this wide missile, man. Yeah, no, you need to, you need to do better than that. That yeah. didn't really improve our stat status at all. It has well, to be above 10-9 the... to get above that. Uh, it's it's 10,000, 11,000, 12,000, 13. Whoa, okay, I'm fucked. God so damn really it. This, to... man. Get oh. it. What are you doing, Stan? I can't because it's like that thing. Oh, gonna... well, it wasn't low enough. You could have gone to the other side. But I guess it didn't matter which side you were on. You had to wait on one side or the other. I'm getting nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Is that enough? Oh, you're shot right out. That's okay. It looks like when you shoot the enemy their missile disappears. Like if you shoot the right hand guy, the associated missile also, yeah, it does. It goes away. So if you're in line to get, oh, except for the last guy, 
That missile doesn't go away. Oh my god, see this? I'm like a Mexican standoff. Did yeah. you see that? Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Oh no. Ugh, you think you're doing well. Yeah. <laughs> this game is all about power up manipulation. For sure. To, to blast through the levels? What? Oh, no. No. Three hits in a row. Yeah, it's hard because it's like once you kind of get into the rhythm, it's not too bad. Like, but you And kinda... you were in the middle to start, too. Yeah. So it's like. Do I have any power ups? I don't no. think so. This no, is my nothing last right now. Ship, I guess right? I X is. X is no power up. I mean, do I have any ships left? It is your last, I think. I think so too. Or do you, is that one in reserve? Do you get extra ships, man? Is that... Way up. 20,000. Way up. Oh, no. Rip. Time is slow down. Everything is ownership. Relax. <laughs> Smooth sailing. Yeah, man. It's like those... <laughs> what, what, did you ever see that science fiction movie where they make like a planet, like a... Like a like a greenhouse in space. I can't remember its name. Uh, it's... is it just one guy? Or, yeah. or... It's the most stoner 80s movie of all time. I want to see that time. film. I, can, I have not seen it. No. Oh, I almost would have preferred that. Probably, because at least you move man. faster. Uh, 5575. Five, X yeah. equals zero life. life. Cool, thanks. Okay, so you are your last life. Let's do this. Let's yeah, get 14,000. I'm kind of averaging like, between 5 and I'm probably averaging about six. No, no, the worst, the worst ever. Is this reverse? I'm almost tempted to restart. We'll see how it goes. <gasps> oh, just the dream, the dream. I'm starting. Okay. Yeah, restart. Man. I'm not gonna sacrifice a life to that mess. No! No! <laughs> it was too low. No. Terrible. That's a major one. The reverse is the worst. Seriously. No. No! No! <laughs> I flinched my decision. John Wick 3 opened to a huge box office. Yeah? Yeah. Have you seen any of those movies? No, I mean to. Everybody keeps talking about them, and they're, are they actually good? At, I've heard there's a lot of action. They are absurd. <laughs> they're just fun action. They're not a they're, they're very, they're like, they're, they're kind of like very postmodern in the sense of like, they're a parody of themselves, and that's the okay. genre. But it's weird. Part of, I think, the postmodern shtick is that like, we're making fun of this, but at the same time indulging in it. You know, you know yeah. what I mean by that? Where it's almost like, you know, it's like at the same time, it's this absurd action thing. There's that spy movie too, where it's a, it's a group of spies and you get inducted into it. I can't yeah, remember. yeah. That's that's making fun of itself too. I, felt, I find uh, that was the the the, 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 the like or something. yeah. I, I know exactly the one you're talking about. Yeah. Um, but but it, but in any case, the, the is, is, I haven't seen it yet. Um, I heard it's interesting. John Wick 3, is anybody who's a fan of John Wick in the chat? I'm just curious if anyone's seen it. It's not like no. Uh, it's a bit. They're 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 definitely the popcorn movies, you know. And we oh, don't. Yeah. And you don't see that popcorn movies that much anymore. I guess you know, like like proper ones where you're just like. Mm. I think a lot of movies are. You know, but that's almost more like watching a ballet of movies. you know. No, no, stay away from me. Oh, Whoa, bombarded. Impossible. Destroyed. Oh my god, I just, just lost like just 500 points. Wailed on, man. <gasps> oh, my score. Uh, my a, poor score. It's okay, it's okay. God. There, he's standing still. Okay. Oh, I thought I'd die there. Me too. But I shot him and therefore his bullets went away. Whoa. Oh. 
Oh. Oh. oh! What? Where's my refresh time? Oh, because I shot. Still? That was terrible. Bruh. I, I was doing so well. That's the thing about this game, man. You, you think you're doing well, and then all of a sudden, bam. Try one more? Sure. Yeah. Let's see how I do. Uh... I saw the last episode of Game of Thrones in the theater. Oh, in the theater. The what did you think of it? I have never seen Game of Thrones before in my life. Dude, I lied. This is... What did you get? Backwards? I got wet with the, the question mark because I was like, why not? What, what weapon did you get? Backwards? I got backwards. Uh, you want to reset? <laughs> no, man. You did die already. We're, I already died. I don't mind. Uh, we'll, we'll... And there's no, there's no fucking like, like run out. Do you see what I mean? There's no like uh There cause, wasn't? Because on everything else, okay, I'll just do it again because yeah. that was that was very rude. <laughs> so I'd never seen an episode of Game of Thrones in my life. Oh, it must have made so no watched, sense, man. But they showed the second to last one and then the last so one. You got a sense of it. I mean the yeah, thing is like, is that That's the bad guy, that's the good these guy. These characters are supposed this to This is the one trying to take over. Well, yes and no. Here's the dragon. Which is interesting. <laughs> well, I mean, the thing is, is that a lot of those characters we've been with for like seven years. Yeah. I won't say any spoilers for people who haven't seen it. Um, but when I was watching it, especially the last episode, people were like, that was a good one to hear. Um, people were like cheering for things. And I'm like, who's that? Why yeah, it's really, I do, I really think that Game of Thrones at this. That's a good one. Oh shit, I don't even know anymore. I know two of them. It's like <laughs> lightning bolt and double and double. That's a good. One. Fuck. I'm so scared to like. <laughs> no, I find these guys are the scariest, man. Yeah, that one. Oh, oh I went for it. Yeah, you almost got it. I was close. Um, I mean, it's it's well made. The the acting's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, some it, characters are be actors are better than others in it. I mean, the thing is, is certainly the first season was uh, was a, a powerful season. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> um, I think the first season was... Every, everybody seemed on board from season one to six, and then everybody on the internet said, well, seven, eight. Well, it's because the writer, man, he's... It's they really, went off on their own, right? It's really his baby. I mean, he's... They, they finished up the books on season six. Yeah. Okay, fuck. There you go. No, no. 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 Oh, you missed your opportunity. It's coming for you. And like faster too. Like, oh come on! They're coming. Oh, oh, I had my like option. Oh no, you're still back where you are. <laughs> Look at this, man. This is like your guaranteed death if you are stuck there. Yeah. Oh, Thirty seventy-five. That's terrible. Well, yeah, the Game of Thrones. I mean, uh, George R. R. Martin is a hell of a writer. He's in his 70s, man, and is this he? guy, oh, no. and he's been writing, um, he started writing, like, for, uh, Weird and Strange Magazine, which are, like, um, early, like, sci-fi, he, the, the, oh, it's not so good. Ooh, helps a bit. Yeah, definitely. But he's just a, a veteran fantasy writer. Who right, knows. old school. Hell yeah, and he actually, um, uh, famously no! made his living... By like uh, just die. Yeah, we'll just die. He uh, he used to like uh uh like judge ch and like uh, curate chess competitions and stuff. Like wow. he's a really interesting oh. guy. Nope. Um. Oh, oh my oh. god, what's happening? Oh, it's just we're just reaching that point of the day. Where... Maybe. Hope not. <laughs> <laughs> I still feel fresh. I still feel good. I'm just getting some bad, bad hands done to me. Well, they are my fault. But... Well, some, some not. It's tricky. It's, you have to make decisions. Nope. And... Quick decisions. Quick movements in this game. No. Uh, I always, I always go for that just because, <laughs> like, I like random a bit well, too If you're much. desperate. Early on, like later, I would. Ah. Oh. So that's the thing. That's... They do wobble on their way down a bit. Yes. Oh my god. No. What but the but hell? you saved you Oh but what? you saved yourself a life, which is good. Uh no, I died. I hit I got hit double bullet. Oh shit, I guess yeah. you, you lose it no matter what. You um, just lose. Oh time to die. 
No, because two bullets came down directly Ooh, on my two guys. That's, that's what happened. Rough, man. Don't bother scoring those garbage games. Yeah, they, they haven't been good. <laughs> Same with me. It's, you know, notable scores. Yeah. I mean, if you ask me what's so amazing about Game of Thrones was, um, it was the first time, I mean, I, I know that this is probably not, um, Oh my god! I'm just gonna keep going. I know it's probably not the case, um, but it felt to me like the first time that there wasn't, in fantasy, the simplistic kind of, like, um, antagonist-protagonist thing. Right. Where, like, um, I mean, in the Tolkien novels, it's pretty fucking obvious that, um, <laughs> Who's the bad guy? who the bad guy is, and he's pretty irredeemable, it's like, and all the mythology around it is like, hell and fire and power and dominant. And, and then it's like these innocent elves and you yeah. know it's so clearly like oh these are the goodies these are the baddies even the bad wizard in in uh, Lord of the Rings had already changed by then exactly like we already stepped into the story and he had already become evil yeah so there's no real like sense of um, versus Game of Thrones was great because there was you were always in this moral ambiguity nobody and was perfectly good also. totally and I do think these HBO was the beginning of all that like you know starting with um uh you know six feet under and the sopranos right. and that's kind of how they made their living in the in these weird kind of um where 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 you're we are with these people and then you think of the postmodern protagonists of like house and uh, uh house right. of cards and you know there it almost becomes a stick of itself but it's an interesting thing where it's like okay now I'm, I'm following someone that's maybe not always going to make the right choice right and then i think the first game of thrones really like um, pushed that so that you were in this multiple narrative with like five sort of parallel stories and then and, and it's not obvious who um, is good who is bad right they, they have all their own goals exactly ah keep pushing it's all no good. no I'm, it, I want to not die immediately yeah. it's, it's just too terrible um, and I think that's what's so cool but the problem is is by the end of these um, <laughs> It's getting rough, man. It is. I don't know. Maybe this is the end. end. This is the end. <laughs> um, but but by the end of I think the series, you it's starting to become like that. Do you know what I mean? It's like we have the we have those like these zombie characters, which is kind of like well, and then you have time travel. You know, there's just a lot oh, of boy. stuff that started to get thrown into Game of Thrones that for whatever reason just felt like you know bring out the tropes. <laughs> not high. Fa it was it, it turned into kind of like. A low fantasy, if you know what I mean, oh, like yeah. kind of like, and so and by the end, um, all the characters that were super interesting were kind of gone. Oh no! So, because of the unexpected deaths. Correct. Um, it's so that's my sense of Game of Thrones. So it's too bad you entered into it at a time that's a little <laughs> bit silly. Um, because I would no, highly, I, still enjoy it. I would highly recommend watching that first season just as like almost a short, like as a, as its own kind of thing. Oh, the yeah. first season is really like a closed circuit. Okay, and good. I don't think that you would. I don't think anything. And really... I can make the decision to carry on. Exactly. Right um, and uh, I, I mean, it, no. There's some cool shit that happens later, but that first one is pretty special. You know. Right. Me and my friends used to do that. We used to like try to like come up with what would be the actual ending of a TV show. Because I feel like TV shows have a point where they start getting worse. Oh yeah. So we would always like joke and be like, "What's what would be the ending?" Like, It'd be like going back maybe a season and going, nah, "This is where it ends, and this is how it should have ended." Totally. I think there's a whole series on it. Like how um, blah should have ended. Yeah, because I feel like, um, and that's that um, the, the British tradition is is they would oh, yeah. do like sizable chunks rather than like. Cause I think there's just this American like a style, the Western hunger for just every week. What's happening with Joey? Rachel? In reverse? My no, my bullets all screwed up. So like every second shot doesn't work. Shit. Oh, I died. So I went away. Okay. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, we're used to 23 episodes a season. Which is just. And it's just such watered down. But yeah, they become hangout out. shows where it's just kind of like, well, what are we doing today? Like the storytelling yeah. change doesn't exist, you know? And even like Game of Thrones is only six episodes, the final. Mm hmm. Which is good that it's structured. Yeah. It's almost like a special. Um, yeah. I mean, they are almost like on average about an hour each. 
No, if you're if you're if you like what you saw, I highly recommend I did. watching the first Especially season. If it's better. Than and then um, you don't have to do anything past that. I mean, ah. it's great. It's good stuff. I'm not saying it's bad, but I'm just saying that like um, if you wanted to sort of just just get a sense of Game of Thrones, um, it's got a really nice little kind of like. Oh, I missed it. I think I'm liking Lightning Bolt better than Double Ship. Same, because it's far more um, sustainable. Easily. That's yeah, the yeah. issue. Being sustainable is, is everything Huge. in this game. Oh, Especially yeah. when you're pushing for high score. It's, it's, much, it's like every game we play, man, sometimes it's just if you don't die... You're nope. doing well. Yeah, yeah. Like it's just surviving. Sometimes you need to just realign yourself to like, don't rush it, just don't die. Yep. Okay, boss, whatever this is, just shoot him, I guess. Just, just I'm sure there's a tactic there. Oh! I saw the squid guy for two seconds. Uh, there's a, a newer trend with American shows to have shorter seasons. The shows Good. created by streaming services have been the ones made. I Yeah, man, I'm so on board because with that. Because they're binging, so you don't have like this weekly thing you're looking forward to. It's like, here it is. Absolutely. Watch it as fast, as slow as you want. This is the story, and that's that's good. 12, 5, 2, 5. I'm okay with that. Yeah, let's see. If... I'm not. I think I want to do one more. Yeah. And then I'll and I'll then I'll stop. But at least I put a, a you put a, something that's like respectable on the board. Yeah. Let's see where that puts it. Probably not. Twelve. My, I'm gonna take. Oh, I just beat somebody. This is so my, third. I'm in third place. This is my new approach, James. Is, is defensive. Not, not to die. Avoid the bullets. I'm just gonna try to like survive. I'm just not gonna try to like do anything but like survive. I'm not gonna try to yeah. go for power ups. Really? Unless I see ones that yeah. are like actively like don't they're in. Don't go for questions. I would just go lightning bolt. And what I tend to do is like what you're doing, picking off the edge guy, going in, picking him off, moving out. I find these guys the hardest. I don't know why. They have unpredictable movements and they come really low. And they don't stop for very long. That's, I think, the thing with the eyes. See, I just had to, I had to like, I had to get it. Let's see, like, I've already fucked up, man. Yeah. And it's like the first level. That's the issue. Is it's like, <laughs> yeah. If, I, if I'm dying on this level, good luck. <laughs> good luck on good level luck, three. Like, God with damn. the hell, ruffle copters. I can't remember if that one. Was... Between them, in between, in between. Yeah, you're taking more pragmatic approach to it. Oh. Yeah, I don't even think I want to get two times anymore. If I have nothing, then maybe. But well, I'm I mean, not going to choose it over lightning bolt. I mean, that's a, it's a free life for sure. Y yes, but in in the. Uh, in the asteroid field, it's a detriment. You're losing points. Oh! oh. Like, this is some quick, quick, <gasps> quick points in the asteroid field if you're not a double wide. Yeah. Oh, too far away. I feel like the lightning bolt is the best. Yeah. Yeah! You can line it up and boom, they can't escape it. They're not getting anything. Well, unless it's lightning bolt, then you get a refresh. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, pick them off. Scared, man. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I'm in the middle of the triples. This this game has a lot of strengths. The power ups, the massive variety of enemies. Like they all move differently. They look differently. They fire differently. Did I get hit? I nope, know. you didn't. I don't think you did. At least we know how to shoot these guys. Oh my god. Okay, you're out. 
the bullets. Oh, we don't need that. There you go. I gotta get it, man. It's there, like... just in time. Oh, another round of three of them. Fuck, he's hard, man. Fuck. Ah. Uh. Nice. Oh, no! Yeah, that's Almost to 10. That's my best score, though. 94.50. Sure. Good to end on a high. Long run shows you get to episodes about small groups, Ross Rachel episode, Joey episode, etc. Yeah, you're right, sure, man. You, you, get to, you get to drill down. You get to episodes about small groups. Um, I, with, the tough thing, though, is there does reach that point, right, where you're almost like... Um, well, it's the, almost the, like the, the, they run out of steam. But I, I think the other thing is, is those shows are often um, uh, the groups uh, and teams that yeah. produce them, which is a different method. Um, uh, you just have a, you have a wider thing to play with versus like those British shows are almost, almost like uh, there's more of authorship. It's more like, oh, yeah. one person is sort they of... They take mm -hmm. ownership of it, yeah. In the long-running shows, they're like, oh, what do we do now? We gotta introduce the baby. Should we introduce the baby into this season? Yeah. No, don't introduce the baby yet. You can still pull out another one. And I think that like out of... But it's hard. I mean, writing Did they a finally good... get together. Yeah. Writing a good show is not easy, man. You no. think about like, um, uh, I think like Seinfeld, Friends. I mean, those are the sitcoms that are like, uh, pretty damn good. Top tier. Top yeah. tier, and um. <gasps> no. But I mean, uh, you know, Seinfeld would be nothing without Jerry Seinfeld and Larry David oh, together. God. And when Larry David left the show, we could feel it. It was like, oh, no. Have you ever seen Kirby Enthusiasm? Do you like that show? Uh, it's too rough for me. What's rough about it's it? too cringy. Yeah, just it's, can't do it's it. nothing but cringe, man. It's, it's, it's cringe fest. <laughs> That's the whole bit, hey? It's just yeah. watching Larry David. Just... Just badly misinterpret how to live his life in society. Always. It's like, no, you don't do that. Man. Why are you saying that? Why? Why are you confronting that person? Just leave it. Just, Just leave let it alone. It be. They're an asshole, or they're doing something you don't like. Just leave it's, it. It's like it's it's like Seinfeld on steroids. Oh yeah. To some degree. It is. And HBO again, man. Yeah, oh yeah, he improvs half of that show, too. Oh yeah. Yeah, they he writes the lot, outline yeah. and then he'll just improv it. <laughs> what do you say? I can't do. Can we do that either? Yeah, you're no. right. Star Trek I want to like it. Got to that point in the later seasons, yeah. And Star Trek, you, you, I mean, again. You'd think that they would have more to play with. Because, yeah, they've infinite. They have it's like, everything. There. But you're right. You, I think I think it's the creative team runs out of gas. That's the problem. It's not that the like possibilities, but it's like, you know, like The Simpsons. How could you imagine like fade in? Bart does like I don't I don't know. How, you know, like what can Bart what do that he been? hasn't done? He's done everything. Um, when a show introduces a new young kid, it's oh, known it's as the cousin yeah. Oliver syndrome. Yeah, it's from so facts, brain, not facts of Marty. Marty. Yeah, man. Oh yeah, you got a thing. Good. And they jump the shark kind of thing. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Happy days, jump the shark. Um, and and I just think also like the multi-camera laugh track sitcom is, is yeah, pretty dead, dead. pretty dead. I mean, someone might do something at some point, which again, which is neat. But I just think that that is not a. We, we just don't consume media that way. I think the vocabulary of internet um, shows has changed everything. Yeah, it's a bit more sophisticated now. You think you get hit by one? That's okay. But... Well, not points. Nice start. Oh, should have got It, is, it feels like playing Google Man this game. You get in a rhythm, yep. and then you kind of get out of it, and then you're like, ah, it's a real... Yeah, real you definitely game. have to be in the rhythm, because it's like... Oh, get a go. No. It's okay. On one level, this isn't a bad one to have. Um, but like... Better. I better 
stop shooting or something. Stop! Stop <laughs> moving! <laughs> Maybe it's because you're shooting him. Oh my god. Oh, fuck! Now what? You're fucked. That's what's happening. Oh, what a shame, man. What a come run. On, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, what a run ah. that just got fucked in the last second because you had two lives, man. You want to do one more? Yeah, do it, do it. Yeah. Do it. I just know I can do better. That's the problem when, when you're playing a game and you're like, oh, like that. No. Come on, shoot me. You can warp to the other side of the screen at the cost of 10,000 points. A thousand points. No thanks. How do you warp? Probably go to the fart. Oh, in that situation, it's worth it. Yeah. You probably press the button while pressing on the side of the screen. Thanks for letting us know, Carl, man. How yeah. does it do that? What's the Please move? Please let me know. That I would have done. A yeah. thousand points rather than dying? That yeah. was awful. That, that was because we were in the middle of a really good run, man. Yeah. And it was just like both. Oh. It is a lot of points. Push joystick though. down and hold fire. Okay, good. Oh, Thanks, okay. man. Oh my god, that saves our ass. Better than ending the game. Or maybe not. Yeah. If you have a really good score, then yeah, don't do it. If you're a high score. But. Um, I really liked that 70 shows of sitcom when I was growing up. I watched that a lot. I really liked the first few seasons. There's some good stuff it's, it's in it. It's aged for sure. Yeah. And I mean, not aged in terms of like, I've just grown out of it. I think it was definitely a younger audience. It, yeah, it was. It's um, not super sophisticated. No, and, es and, and especially like, um, you know, and then most of the plots are about hiding from your parents or, you know, your, your friends. You know, so it, it, it's very, it was, it was interesting that it really hit like this, uh, it was good for its time, that's for sure. Yeah. Oh. And two and a half men, I've never been able to watch. No, no. no. Or Big Bang Theory, I'm, I'm gotta say I'm not a Big Bang Theory fan at all. It's not great humor. And two and a half men is terrible humor. It's well, just making fun of people. Well, the nerd culture side of things is, I find personally a little bit like, uh, it doesn't. It doesn't feel like we're. It's not authentic. No. It's um, just like, hey, look at this thing. You know this thing. Laugh at it. Well, but almost, it's nerdy. It reaches a point where you feel like you're almost making fun of people on the spectrum. Do you know what I mean? It's oh, yeah. A little, it's a little, like, really... And, and I, I've watched analysis shows uh, breaking down uh, a Big Bang Theory and showing how terrible they actually are to each other. Like, these people are not friends with each other. They, no. They say the worst things to each other. Only works when the smart bomb is at the bottom. Okay, that's oh, good to so know. Oh, so you have to wait for it to... That's awesome, because well, otherwise, only... otherwise oh, you might fuck it up, man, and that would suck. That's the only time you want to use it. Exactly. Anyway. See, that's, just, that's the advantage of the two, man. Yeah. I mean... I don't really like it. I know. I mean, well, it's... I've gone past It's it. better than, like, nothing, for it sure. It is. Yeah, it's better than nothing. Back to the you, they pretty much just they walk into my beam of death. And and for this level, right, this is where like the lightning will carry you for anything. It can That's be, why I don't like it's that. It's an all this. game clearer. Yep. Good. Coming out here with eleven uh, eight thousand is good, man. Yeah, it's a good uh, okay. starter point for level three. You know, if I could only survive through the these guys, man. Look, look at that! They stopped, and I'm shooting them. I feel like when you barrage them, they don't like it. Yeah, I don't think I don't think barraging them is the right technique. Not those guys. No. Everybody else is fine. I think you want to kind of wait until they stop, then then fire it into. Oh, you know what? I think you're right. With that. Because I don't think that they they don't respond well to that. Yeah. Because I think when you shoot them, they just shoot back at you, and then you and they and you don't spawn them, and then you and you remember the timer is a huge issue. <sighs> These guys so much. They're the worst. Yeah. Oh come on! It wasn't this bad on any other round. So you're doing okay. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! I've never thought these fucking weird spider things with bat things would no. be like, oh no. It's okay, it's okay. Yeah. I need a bit I need a power. Oh, up. these fuckers, man. I need an upgrade to pull them in that spot. Well, you're... Nope. No. Nope. Lightning again, come on. Give me some lightning. I need some Thor, man. Give me some Thor. 
Okay, okay can I survive for more that's than a good, half a second? That's a good question. So just dodge to start with. Yeah. Just make sure you don't get hit. Oh, oh he lays bombs and you can't run into those. That's the thing. It's like explosions that stay. So you can't really follow him. That's the ticket. James! Whoa, whoa, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Holy shit! Probably get no points. This is like an intense, oh, you get minus this is an intense worm. Yeah, Wormhole, yeah. that's what it was. Oh. oh, multiple hits. Multiple Holy hits. Shit, I, need, I need lightning, please. Oh, at least... Oh, no, you have to do it for every guy. Get up. Get up. Oh, he regens that motherfucker. Uh, well, at least they're like... They're I think these, this is better than those helicopters. Oh, now. yeah. Because they are... You can shoot them anytime. Get up there. Just focus on not dying. That's what you gotta do, man. Yep. Don't worry about anything. Just just don't get hit. Slow and steady at this oh, point. Get up. There we go. Bats. I'm happy to see bats. Oh. oh, these fuckers again, man. God damn it. Yes. small window with these you markers. Do. Oh no! Oh, that's a... That's a happy score. That's a good score, man. So second that puts place. you at second and... I retire. <laughs> good. <laughs> For today. Oh my god, what's that? 115? <clears throat> yeah, we should call it. That's a, yep. that's a oh, really yeah, good... Sure. That's a good end. Let me just check the scores. Yeah, that's 3,000 above. It looks like you're running the public ROM. No bonus wave. Public ROM. I downloaded. Yeah, it is the public ROM. That's the one we have to use. I, I'm not going to use my my special final ROM because I have to play the same game as everybody else is oh, playing makes sense. Makes in sense. the tournament. Um, I think yeah. it's like beta five or something. Yeah, because otherwise that would be it's just because different... it's unfair because I would have different scoring yeah, than everyone else. Um, so. Of of course, awesome game. Fuck. It should be an insta buy for most people. Hell Anybody yeah. who loves shooters, this is such a variety, and it's it's the right balance of challenge. It's not easy, but it's definitely not like impossible. Like you can, if you keep playing, you can get further and further. Um, so that puts me in a very solid second. This is three thousand above the next person, but far beneath lid lights and television. Yeah, because he is a. I, I'm surprised he didn't destroy me on the first and second game. I think he just didn't even play. Um, so I'm really happy with that. I know I'll probably get bumped to third or even fourth because people have like another week. To yeah, play this. And, and, and now that they got a goal. Yeah. Beta 5. Yes, that's the one. At least while you're waiting for Galaga. That's right, man. <laughs> Everybody else. Yeah, of course. Galaga. It's the, the, the king of early shooters. Um, so we played, uh, some pretty good games today, and we did pretty well in them. Yeah, we, well, we beat, Destroyed um, Halo 2 2600. Well, we didn't do the hard version. The legendary. We didn't do the second pass, the legendary. But that's rough, man. I don't think that's a great way to, to increase the difficulty. To make it, yeah. to, uh, You know what I mean? It's, 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 it's... Make it so the enemies, you have to shoot them twice. Absolutely. Or something like that. Or... You know, they're stronger and you get bigger power-ups or, you know, some other battles. Twice would be way better. Yeah. Especially for, like, those triple rooms. Because then yeah. you feel like you, you're you not being handicapped. Yes. That's the it's issue, just, man. The, the, you shouldn't be handicapped. The game should be harder. Exactly. Not harder as in lead boots. but. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's just a rough way to scale a game. 
but great first run through. It was challenging enough. I thought it would take longer, but I think it was a good challenge. I think we had a, a bit good of a level. lucky run too. I, I think oh, you. Yeah, yeah. I think you know we kind of like really lucked out. Yeah, I didn't encounter too many hard uh, any uh, areas, and I think yeah, I was, and we kind of like wasn't down to the wire at and, the end. And kind of working the rooms was smart. Yeah. Um, it Work is, in the corners. It's a speed running game, though. Ooh. You know what I mean. It's really designed to just rush through. That would be a really good game for speed running. Yeah. Because you have to go get this, do, this cut this, some this. corners, don't find the like, thing, avoid people instead of shooting them at all times if you can, and then get your key. And the most efficient way to go from yeah, room to room boom, to room. Boom, boom. Get the boots first, or not get the boots yeah. first. Get the power up gun first, or not. Um, and space game. Obviously, everybody just saw awesome shooter um it's out on cartridge if you want to get it or you can download an earlier version if you want to try it out some more for yourself um there are um carl g said there is extra waves that is not in the version we played so yeah if you you so if you want to buy it you'll get extra stuff hell yeah and there's a competition on right now so if you want to challenge my high score or get on the roster um it's it's still i think oh, did i break 10 i think i did you did you just broke 10 uh, i think that placed you not above because somebody got 10 i think i got to 90. i think i got more than 1090 i could you, be wrong let's switch back and and scroll back just so we know your placement i don't think it's like amazing no but i think you just got it there's a nine for you there's a 10 i might for not me. have beat 10 i might have it's a six i might have just done nine and I then swear i thought you got 10 I or thought, maybe you were a nine i thought i got 10 i only see a nine here oh let's see, let's see we're at nine that was your last yeah you said that was your best one there we go okay well i mean i didn't i just i, I just did a personal best that's not yeah bad at so all. you're in a solid with me seventh place cool so you're you're on the board a very solid seventh yeah, yeah. man um so good stuff and yeah I, could, I, got, I think i could push to 11 or 12 oh yeah and that couple, yeah, maybe three or four or more games. I think yeah, you, I probably you could, could if I that. needed to. But I don't think I could get as high as you. That was pretty good. That was a good um, run. Like, that was way above my other stuff. That yeah. was a very good run. I was, I, so I'm like, I I'm think done. You, I think you could could improve, too. I bet you you could do 20. If you... Posted. Oh, thanks, Dan. Thank you. Oh, dude. 20, I, I, it, I it would take it... me, like, maybe six or seven or eight but more 30, games. But 30, that feels out of reach. That feels like... That good. Was he 30... 37 not even like yeah he's an expert at every game yeah he's like really 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 good i wonder too man like um when you're getting to those levels i wonder if like his controller he's a super you know what i mean there that might have an, a factor too yeah you, um, you your controller is good but i mean like it's, it's getting we, a bit soft I it's soft i need to stretch out the uh and we bounce between controllers a lot versus i think if you just had like a controller you were super used to yeah but this is a good one. I man. love that. It's this an all-around is... great controller, um, except for precision movement. Yeah, that's, that's where you're. That's when you get the clicky, epics. Yeah, joystick. Carl says I like using a Sega gamepad. That's those are good too. If you're really you grew up in the thumb, uh, like the Nintendo. I era. bet I would do better on a Sega gamepad. I'm not gonna lie, because I've played so many consoles. I've got them. <laughs> um, oh yeah. We could use them if you want to try. Um, another time or if you yeah, want to give yeah. it another go right now no let's wait till the 12 hour marathon yeah but let's try some sega gamepad maybe for this one let's put that on the list i'd love to try to see if i can it's only a back and forth exactly and so i it's I, just I one or the other it's a rocking motion yeah because i this isn't i i never played the arcades like most of my games oh. um are i'm really good with a mouse and keyboard and i'm really good with like a like a xbox controller or a i actually play really well on the emulator with a mouse i imagine i mean a so. keyboard sorry a keyboard it's like because it's so precision. Oh god! Except yeah. when it's four movement, if it's back and forth and a fire button like Galaga yeah. or this, no problem. Um, yeah, we'll try out a bunch of different controllers during the twelve hour and see yeah. what works best for which games. And I'll break out even like the original Atari joysticks, which I hate. Yeah, they're so stiff and terrible, and they hurt your hands after ten minutes. But yeah. that's just me. Um, yeah, I grew up in, in doing arcades and uh, Commodore 64, which I had an arcade-style joystick as well, so I'm so used to this Yeah. for most games. But, I, I mean, I played lots of Nintendo NES as well, and I play PS4 and tons of things with gamepads and totally. uh, thumbsticks as well. I'm fine with everything. So it's the best tool for the job. What do you use for two joystick games? We really haven't done... 
serious run at a two joystick game we, yep. we do need to try that two joystick game again yeah it was the one where you go along this railing and you shoot above and below yeah we were kind of playing it as a two-player game which was fun which was fun um but you kind of have to i would probably tape two original atari oh but you have to use a power, fire button too I can't. I don't know if it's just two joysticks. Man, I bet you, you that's could where do those, two of these. Well, those paddles, man, might be smart. Like you know what I mean. If you had like a foot one that you could hit, plus like a movement for the fire button, yes. Yeah, so I that would way combine you that. that way you had two joysticks and and you could hit your with the foot. I would probably use this and another one on a table. Yeah. Because these are really heavy and they don't move. Like you could yeah, totally, totally do two joysticks here. So that would be my first go to. Plus the. Um, where did I put it? Oh, I put it away. Plus the the um, foot pedal controller for firing. Um, that's what I would. That's what I would do for the ultimate setup right now. So uh, sorry to disappoint everyone, but this is our last show for now. Uh, we're going on a little hiatus yeah. for a couple weeks because I am going to Las Vegas and then New York. New York for my film premiere. New York film premiere. Yeah, man. Which is very exciting. Um, so let's check out the schedule. We'll be back on June 19th, and that is a Wednesday, so I'll be with I'm you. In. I'm in. We'll be checking out the Uno cart, Ooh. which is... It's good for me, too. I actually have a lot of work that's been piling up, so yeah, it's nice so to have, good, a, have my break. Wednesdays. So I'll be checking out the Uno cart, the advantages, the disadvantages, and we'll be checking out the first two Uno cart exclusive games World premieres of these games, you can only run on the Uno cart. You can't even run them on Stella because it's not up to date. So that's something for Stella to, to put in. Because this needs to gain a foothold too because that's a lot of work to implement. Yeah, sorry whole new scheme. four weeks without zero patience. Yeah, time. sorry about that. You'll have to go in the archives and watch but the we'll best stuff. we'll be back. Of. Don't worry, we'll be back. Oh yeah, this is And not... we got lots of cool things planned. We'll be fresh. We got oh, some new yeah. stuff. We got 12, the 12-hour 12 marathon. Yeah. We'll come up quick after that. Yeah, we'll be playing the Quadtari hardware Ooh. that has come in. I'm cool. going to do some testing, private testing in the meantime with that because the guy... You sent it to me. Needs some information about oh, it. Oh, sorry, yeah, Carl. I'm sorry. Well, we'll be back. Don't worry. Uh, we're summer's gonna be... uh, summer is going to be uh, a nice time. It you is. Know? And we're going to uh, get back to the Activision challenges. Um, we're going to change up the style of the show a little bit. On Fridays, we're going to be doing um, Activision patch challenges for the next foreseeable future. And Wednesdays are the new shows where we're playing new games hey i feel lucky i'm like the i'm one of the yeah i like get the, all the new I, stuff i get to be like the one of the cool aladdin ones. super twin 78 well of course that's but it's a really expensive joystick it's got oh. two joysticks built into an arcade style clunker heavy damn like control Dude, you gotta panel. get one i how expensive are they i think they're about 200 canadian wow but considering i'm an insane person I paid two hundred dollars Canadian for this Vectrex joystick, which is high quality. But you know, I would love to get a Super Twin seventy eight. Um, I to mean, play stuff on. That's the beautiful part about having this show, James, is that you have excuses. To I do know. It, you know, I gotta buy it for the show. You know, it's got to do it. Um, and of course, this twelve hour gaming marathon fundraiser for Stella on uh, from noon to midnight. Ooh. Pacific time on uh, June 28th. So that's a big one to look forward to. Um, lots of donations yeah. are coming in that you can bid on. You can send in donations and challenge us to your favorite games. We're going to not just be playing homebrew. We'll be playing Atari games, uh, classic Atari games oh. as well. So we'll be delving well, in, I'll be especially be, for challenges. There'll be a lot of firsts for me there. I haven't oh, played yeah. like any Atari games really outside of the show. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's pretty odd. Yeah. The Vectrex joystick is awesome. The feel of the joystick and the buttons is it's so well machined. It's really, really good. Like especially in comparison to the original joystick. It's original one's so weak and tiny. Yeah. Um and uh yeah, we got lots of fun stuff coming up and uh yeah, so we're looking forward to that. But a little bit of a break. So you guys get out, smell some fresh air and get out into the sunshine and time. practice up on your gaming and uh we will see you uh, 
How long is that? Yeah, just under a month. Just I know it's month. a while. It is a while cry. Yeah, but hang in there. You can do it. I do have to go away and take care of some business in New York City. Um, but we'll be back. So thanks, everybody. Well, it's not really a break, unfortunately. <laughs> break for you guys. It's, for the, way me. Li- it's the way life goes, it's, man. It's actually it's... work. Actually, uh, Las Vegas is uh, my an- uh, uh, anniversary. That's right. 11 year anniversary. Uh, wedding anniversary. Yeah, you'll have a great time. Yeah, well, yeah, we're going to a punk show. That's badass. Um, and like an outdoor punk oh. three day festival, but we're only going for one day on the last day. Man, if you don't gamble, um, Tanya will. I won't. Vegas is like just... a place where there's so much cheap stuff because yes. they, they make all their money off of gambling. The drinking's cheap, the food can be very cheap, but yeah. also very terrible. Yeah, it's so, it's at like the American style buffet where it's just like like here's a pile of three hundred of the cheapest sausages. You're like, oh, yeah. yeah. There's lots of entertainment there. Free it, roller coasters, it, so many great shows. Like it amazing. can be costly the shows, but there are a lot of them. Yeah, so that's man. good. Um, lots of if you've never been there, it is a sight to behold, but it fades very quickly because it's you quickly realize it's pale imitations of actual real things out there. Oh, yeah. It's like, it's the Eiffel Tower. Ta- oh, My favorite is when you go Eiffel off Tower. the strip and it gets really sad. <laughs> Do you <laughs> yes. know what I mean? You walk in and it it's... smells like smoke from like hundred, from like, from like 20 years of just oh, smoking. Yeah. And just then there's like... in the carpets and you can tell what era those carpets are from. It's like, yeah, that's an 80s, that's a 70s. And Ooh, there's that's like some 60s. free shows from what are just like really sad, oh, you know, yeah. and you're like, because it's like, it's so quickly it gets rough. That's right, and there's no clocks in Vegas. They, they're like, it's like a collective agreement that they don't want to tell you what time it is. Yeah. So that you just keep going. You just, just stay playing, where you are. Man. I mean, everybody has a phone now so they can tell time, but if you didn't have a watch on your wrist back in the day, you'd be like, it's 3 a.m. Oh my god, I'm in trouble. <laughs> and some of the lifers, you see like people who are like, oh. the, the, there's just some, there's just a like look in their eyes of just like, mm. yep, that's it, that's mm. the thing, man. Yeah. And they and they tend to be like, um, you know, and the sad thing is, is it's often poor people, you know, it's not rich people, yeah. and that's that's where it's a really brutal thing, you know. Yeah, the rich people can afford to lose the money, and the poor people, they cannot. That's right. And they're hoping to make big, but unfortunately. The way gambling works and a lot of people's gambling habits is they go, I have a lot of money now. Now I'm going to gamble that money and make more money. But then they lose it and they walk out empty pocketed every time. That's what they count on. There's a lot of poor people who are dressed up in like a like a like a thousand dollar suit. Just keeping off that image so that when they sit down at like a high stakes table, they don't seem like, you know, uh, because they want everyone to think that they're a badass. That's what I got. I got to go look and pawn shops there yes not like the pawn shop but pawn shops because that's where people take all their stuff oh man and there's some discount stores like some some like uh like a like big malls there that will sell everything at not what is it is it's not retail it's whatever like the supplier oh wholesale yeah discount place and there's like malls full of stuff so if you ever wanted to buy like a watch or anything like Uh, that there's some good stuff although i have to say the exchange and stuff it doesn't really work out it cancels it all out but um you know it's all cool stuff but yeah Yep. Okay, anyway, um, enough for blabbing on. Is this an anniversary trip? Yeah, 11th right, year wedding anniversary. Actually, I proposed to her on the day I met, and we got married on the day that same day as well. Wow. So it's all exactly the same day. It makes it easier to remember. And it's also romantic. <laughs> oh, I see <laughs> what she you loves mean. It. I see what you mean. I, I met her I on thought... a day. And then I proposed to her th- one year later. I thought you meant that like you pr- like you proposed oh. to her on the day that you met her. It was her. very rushed. And I was like, whoa. <laughs> Some people do that. I, I know a couple that did that. Like tongue in cheek. Yeah. But they actually got married later. Jeez. Um, yeah. So we met one like Skin. on a day. Then one year exactly I proposed to her. Then one year exactly later we got married. Right. That's a great timeline. Yeah. It's a great timeline. Makes it easy. Because then you have one anniversary to, to When did you guys move propose. in together? Nine months. Nine months. Okay, cool. I wanted to move in at six, but we were both like... It's a bit eh, quick. Yeah. Let's not do that. Just well, it's good. Case. It's a very smart thing. Yeah. But I knew. It was like... It's pretty yeah, odd. We're, yeah, I'm it's, done. 
It's obvious. Yeah, I turn when in you, my card. <laughs> but it's not even that. It's like when you when you connect with a human being, it's 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 like it turns the lights down on a lot of. I know I've had that feeling when you meet someone that it works, and you're like, oh, all that us other stuff totally <laughs> was, didn't work. That was not real. <laughs> like you, for, this is how it's supposed to yeah, be. Yeah, it's it. It really is like you're the exposure I had on to a struggle lens. Struggle before, and this is easy. Hell yeah. Oh, okay. That's what everyone's talking about. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Teet Foes. Teet, Teet, Tight Foes? Te I don't know how to say your name. Please phonetically spell it out. Happy anniversary, James. Smart strategy making the dates line up. Yes. Yeah, very smart. Uh -huh. I'm a thinker. Um, so we're out of here. Thanks for everybody tuning in. T T Tight Foes. Tight Foes. T I T F O S. The Incredible True Facts of Space. That doesn't help, but thank you. <laughs> how to the say it. The Incredible so True Facts of Space. Oh, space. Everything's Again. better in space. Yes, even tight folks. The, so th the, i, the, t, fit, fit folks. Fit folks? I don't know. Carl G. Fit folks is, I think fit that's the coolest way to pronounce yeah, it, fit actually. Folks. Fit folks. Carl G., Dan ABC, Micron Bus, Thrunts, Thrust 26. Uh, Ground Trooper, I suppose, to, um, Carl G. Splendid Nut. No militant Buddhists today. That's no. okay. There's a few people that... You're fired. Uh, people have jobs. <laughs> people have lives. RC70, Shy Guy, 16... Mr. Fix, we never found out about what happened with the oh, keyboard. No. What happened to our... There is no signal. Shit. Oh, it overheated. Let's see if we can get it back just for a couple just seconds. Just for a second. Sorry, if friend. You still hear us. Too hot. Oh. Accessing no image in this view. <laughs> Normally, you don't guys don't get to see that. Behind Ooh, the scenes. Yeah, it's really hot today. To and is that a, a wider lens? Uh, now it is because of reset. Yeah, you can see everything. Uh, Shy Guy 16. This is. Now you can. See all my homebrew oh, up there. And my Galaga. And my other. Anyway. Uh, Shy Guy Twitch, 16 man. Sky for coming in and saying nonsense. Um, and I think or letting us know everything. the secrets of the cosmos if we yeah, can only it's all uh, code, un, man. Un, 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 too hot for Twitch. Yeah, internal, internal temperature high, no, no video. video. Yeah, we got it back for now. So we're out of here before the camera explodes, mm -hmm. and we'll see you. Save the date, put it on your calendar. We are back on June nineteenth on a Wednesday. Yeah. Fitfos, yes, is he's. Erlen, yes. So okay. I think Fitfos Fit Fos, is the there way we go. to do it. It can cool down for four weeks now. Yeah, that's yes. true. Have a nice cool down. So uh, see you guys later, and we'll be back in a couple weeks. Absolutely. Bye-bye.